It is, uh, okay, stream's running, everything's up and going, uh, sound seems okay-ish, let me see. It's been a while since we've done a, uh, a GBA game, so I kind of have to check the sound levels here. Let me just load this up. It is. Whoa, that's loud. Okay, that's enough. Uh, that sounds good. So we are, uh doing our first stream in a post FF7 remake world, which who man, that stream last night went on for well over four and a half hours. It was almost 4am by the time I stopped. And I pretty much spent all of today like catching up on other people's streams of it and uh, listening to some podcasts related to it, and there's a lot to unpack there, but uh, not in the stream. Uh, going on a long, detailed explanation about it would have to happen some other time. So, uh, what today is, though, is, well, it's apparently a day early, but today is the 15th anniversary of Mega Man Battle Network 5 in America, or at least the GBA version of it. This game actually has three versions, uh, Team Proto Man, Team Colonel, and then there's a DS version as well, uh, that has both copies in it, that has a bunch of, um, oops, it has a bunch of, uh, oh, perfect, there's no music here. It has, like, a bunch of extras and redone music and, and, like, special features that use the GBA slot with other Battle Network games. It's really cool. I was debating on whether or not I wanted to do the original GBA version, one of the GBA versions, or the DS version. And as tempting as it was for all the extra functions, there's just some stuff regarding the DS version that's really annoying and would be really annoying to stream. Uh, namely, redoing my chip folder in that, because they you, it was an early DS game, so... It had a lot of weird touchscreen... It had a weird touchscreen interface that was annoying to use. It was very frustrating to sort through the, the folder, and I didn't like doing it. Uh, that and some of the music in the DS version just isn't as good. Um, so I opted to go with the game that's actually celebrating its anniversary today slash tomorrow, and that's the GBA versions. Uh, Storyline-wise, it would have been exactly the same. I would have only done one version regardless, so... You're not going to miss too much, you're just not going to see the navvies of the other version, which I could probably show off at some point anyway. Um, if you're new here, I do this every year on the uh, 15th anniversary of each of these games. Only one more left after this, so next year is going to be the last one. And then I've got some side games I want to stream too, and then Star Force after that. But uh, yeah, that's all years from now. Who knows if any of us will even be here at that point. Because uh, yeah, stuff isn't very good right now. But anyway, uh, it's a new day, a new stream, and uh, we're going to just jump right into it now. The year was 19xx. Cyber Society was almost completed. We've done what we can. Now it's up to the next generation to finish the research. Yes? Our offspring will certainly complete what we've started. Yes, let us hope so. So immediately starting with the flashback of sorts. Years later in the 21st century, a network keeps society safe from all cyber threats. Wake up, Lan. Come on, wake up, Lan! Trying to sleep. Also, the DS version of this game has voice acting. Uh, 
for some for all the major characters, which is where I how I base these voices off of, even though it doesn't really sound too accurate. I can't really hit... Uh, I know Mark Gatha did Mega Man's voice in this game, the same guy who did X's voice in uh, all the games up through Command Mission. Uh, and I believe this is one of his last voice acting roles, actually, before he left the business. Land, you can't fall asleep now. You haven't finished your homework. He didn't do the same voice he does for X, though. Like, Command Mission X is not what he sounded like. I could probably play a clip of it at some point. Ugh. Oh, morning, Mega Man. Don't morning me, Lan. Every time you start your homework, you fall asleep. Come on, Mega Man. It's better than falling asleep during class. I actually thought they were both voiced by Mark Gatha, but I don't think so. I, I remember the last time I looked at the credits, they were different. I think there's only three characters with voice acting. It's, it's Mega Man, Lan, and then... Oh, and Proto Man, and then Colonel, who... If you... We haven't met him yet, but he's in the title, so... Yeah, he's a character. Lan got the personal terminal P.E.T. Hey, how about we jump on the net? That'll rev me up. Er, okay, but just for a bit. Once we jack out, it's homework time, okay? Yeah, sure, sure. Jack it! Lan, could you come here for a second? It's Mom. Wonder what's up. Coming, Mom. Makes him sound like a real doofus. You have mail, Lan. Press start to open the PET. Alright, it's the same tutorial we get every day. Every game. Every year. And I'm not used to confirm being back on the A button here. <laughs> Your PET, your personal terminal. Mega Man's in here. Net Battlers. This magazine with tips and info is designed to help Net Battlers get up to speed. In this issue, we've got three hot features. So, I think new to this game, there's emails with subject lines that you can just choose to read. It's just basically glorified tutorial stuff. What's jacking in? Jacking in refers to sending your Navi from your PET into the cyber world. You can jack into all sorts of machines. So keep an eye out for places to jack into. To jack in, stand in front of the machine and press R button. Not the R button, just R button. Okay, young net battlers, do your best and enjoy your cyber world life. Learn to edit your chip folder. Essentially, they're giving you like the entire rub that you get at the beginning of every game in one easy to understand email. You can find battle chips scattered around the cyber world, but simply having them doesn't mean you can use them. Whenever you get a new battle chip, you have to make sure to put it in your chip folder. If you want to edit your chip folder, use your PET. Select the chip folder to open the editing screen. While you are editing the folder, pressing start lets you sort the data. Yeah, so the DS version has like a weird like horizontal screen to sort the chips, and you have to manually drag each one into the folder, which is one of the main reasons I did not want to play the DS version. You can sort the battle chips in your pack and folders either by ID or alphabetically. It really helps in organizing your chips. Find battle chips by deleting viruses and opening mystery data on the cyber world. Also, you can buy battle chips at certain shops, as well as trade bug frags to get them. The more battle chips you get, the better a folder you can make for yourself. Okay, young net battlers, same thing as last time. Know your sub chips. An addiction, a dip, an addiction. Good job. I think I already need some water. In addition to battle chips, there are sub chips. Oh, hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Always appreciate the the follows. <laughs> sub chips. Actually, it's funny because that I mentioned the music in Battle Network 5 DS because that follow jingle, which you probably can't hear over the game, is uh is from the DS version of it. Subchips can't be used in battle, but they recover HP, make it easy to avoid viruses, and other things. The thing is, a subchip can only be used once. But don't worry, you can buy more subchip shops on the net and in the real world. Just keep an eye out for them. Oh, and before I forget, let me tell you something. There are BBSs here and there on... S Excuse me. There are BBSs here and there on the cyber world. They're great places to get info, learn about new battle techniques, and all sorts of stuff. They can be really useful places, so check them out. 
So yeah, basic tutorial stuff. Um, status screen is the same as the last game. I don't think anything's really changed from 4 to 5, like it did from uh, 3 to 4. Library's still the same. Uh, it sorts the chips into three categories, and you have the program advance. Subchips the same. Sorry, I just ate a cookie and there was like a crumb in my mouth. Um, folder, pretty much the same as all every other game. Uh, this, I think, is a new chip. It makes your buster attack go up by one and your charge attack go up by ten temporarily for the battle. It's pretty useful. But other than that, uh, it's the same old, same old. And you get the uh, 4 MB regular chip to start. Actually, is buster up? It's 5 MB. I can't do that yet. Alright then. Uh, cool. Uh, and I already fucked up. Again... After playing FF7 uh, Remake for 20 days, having the the button on the right rather than the button on the bottom be confirmed is uh, very annoying. Uh, this is multiplayer, same old, same old. Not going to be using that. Uh, I meant to hit save and I hit exit. And yeah, we're you've seen it once, you've seen it four times, you'll see it again. A poster of Solar Boy Django. You want to play under the sun when you see it. Land, you don't have to sleep yet, right? There's a commanding view of ACDC Town from here. Action figures and stuffed animals are displayed on top. They don't seem to be arranged in any special manner. It's hard to arrange them when there's only two. Uh, that's Wizdog and the Tin Robot, or Tin Man, from the last game. Lance PC customized by his dad. There's a terminal for jacking in. Carefully displayed photo. It's of two small boys. It's one of Lance's prized possessions. A versatile footstool. There has not been much use for it lately. A closet jumbled full of clothes and toys. Half-read books litter the floor. The same pages have been open for days. Why is Land so messy? Like, the rest of his room looks, looks clean, and then he just has books, books thrown in, like, a complete jumble in the corner. Three comfortable cushions that look like a soccer ball. Land, could you run an errand for me? I'm tied up at the moment. I have to stand here and do nothing. Sure, Mom. Really? Thank you. Could you please deliver this to my friend's Navi? Lan got stew rec, which is stew recipe, I believe. Where's your friend's Navi? She's in the kitchen comp. You can access the kitchen comp from ACDC area, too. Gotcha. Let's go, Mega Man. Okay. Press the R button in front of your computer to send me to Cyberworld. You got it. Time to jack in. Thank you, dear. Mom really gets into choosing the right groceries. Her keen insight is much like that of a net battler. A skilled net battler. Not just any net battler, excuse me. Uh, let me just... In here that, um... It, this stream's kind of set up in a re weird way. I have to kind of keep two displays of this open at the same time. And it's kind of just jarring to see it behind. Like, the one I'm looking at is a lot smoother than the one that I'm previewing. Which I think is just OBS in general. OBS always previews things at a lower frame rate than what's actually running. Full of shoes. Mom's special dress shoes are kept in the back. You could tell I'm really on my game with the, uh... Talking today. Mom's homemade pasta is the best. Once you try it, you're hooked. The inside of the refrigerator is neatly arranged. We must run that errand for Mom. We must. I just noticed the curtains in this game have the uh, Hikari symbol on it. There are two dog houses out back. This is the old one. It hasn't been used in a long time. Beautifully arranged tableware. Coffee table. Panel, TV. We've seen this all before. Many, many times. Jack in! Mega Man, execute! Oh, here we go. Tutorial time. Uh-oh. Yep. It's always tutorial time. Land, viruses are invading your webpage. Okay, Mega Man, let's warm up some... Wow. Okay, Mega Man, let's warm up with some virus busting. Right, you operate, I bust. He's gonna bust a nust. Er, 
you're not too sleepy to bust viruses, are you? Are you kidding? Let's roll. Really? Okay then, let's do it. Battle routine set. Execute. Lan, let's try some virus busting. Operate away. Leave it to me. Let's go, Mega Man. Um, to battle viruses, first I... Forgot, even though I've done this four games in a row now. Send chip data to Mega Man. Then I can select battle chips in this custom window. Here are the chips I could select. Hmm, any good ones? The chips in the folder I've equipped are shown here. Lan, where did all your chips go? From the previous game. I see the selected chip's data here. This is its attack. I'm ready now. Now this is crucial. Here's the virus's hit points. HP shows how much damage it could take. Gotta remember that. Got it, Lan? You can only send one chip data per turn. Unless it's for data from the same type of chip. We have two cannons, so select them both. That's a no-brainer. I got it down. The A button selects the chip to send. The R button shows the info about the chip. And the L button is for escaping. But this is no time to run away. I better send chip data to Mega Man. One thing I kind of missed from the very first game, the little description actually fit in the window instead of just being a separate pop-up. After the two cannons, I could select one more chip. No, you can't. Now that I've selected chip data, I just select OK. Here we go, Mega Man. Lan, operate away. I can move up, down, left, and right on the battlefield. Fire the Mega Buster with the B button. It's weak, but fast. Hold it down longer for a charge shot. Remember that. Here are my HP. I'll be deleted if they reach zero. The chip data you just sent is shown, above my head. Use it with the A button, but each one can only be used once. Oof, I am fucking up the delivery pretty hard here. If a virus remains even after you've used all your chips... I know, I know, the cust gauge, right? The custom gauge gradually rises over time. Once it's full, I can access the custom screen again with the L and R button. I got the basic bat... Excuse me, I got the battle basics down pat. But enough already, let's bust a virus. Lan, you're too young for that. Oh yeah! Lan, more coming. Don't worry, we're almost there. Lan. Now let's use both support and weapon chips in our attack. Area grab you see there gives me more room to move around. Using area grab with wide sword is a very effective strategy. Oh, you can only select the same type of chips together. Come on, Land, you forgot already? Take a look at this. Oops, I completely forgot. These letters are a chip code. Different types of chips can be selected together as long as they have the same code. Let's see, Area Grab and Wide Sword have the same code, so I can select them together. The chips with an asterisk are... That's such a hard word to say. The chips with an asterisk are like a wild card. I could send them with any other code. I'll try them with the S since there's no asterisk. Attack with Area Grab and Wide Sword. Yeah, Area Grab. Okay, now use Wide Sword. Okay, now I just select OK to send the data to Mega Man. Mega Man, I sent the data. Let's score a combo. Okay, time for a combo. By using Area Grab with the A button, part of the virus's area will become ours to use. Now we can move up and use the Wide Sword. This is a powerful attack, but remember, I have to get close to a virus to strike it. Let's give it a try. the same tutorial every game. Two cannons, area grab, wide sword. Let's 
Sorry about that. I just had to uh, check something real quick. Hooray! It's such a weird thing to say. <laughs> it's such a weird thing for Mega Man to say in this situation. Okay, just one more left. Let's do it, Mega Man. Mega Man. Lan, do you remember Counter in Full Synchro? Huh? What's that? Well, take a look at the emotion window here. It shows my emotional state. By looking here, you can tell how well you're operating me. At first I will be calm, but if I keep taking damage, I'll obviously start getting anxious. Conversely, operate me well so our souls connect, and I'll go full synchro, a state where you and I act as one. This improves my focus. How do I operate you well? You have to counter. Counter? Uh, what was that again? Counter means using a chip attack right when the enemy is about to attack. They'll be caught off guard and won't be able to move for a bit. I get it. It surprises them. When full synchro, the next chip attack is times two one time, and the enemy will flash to show you when you should counter. Thus, you can use two times attack chips over and over again if you score multiple counters. Okay, this is a good opportunity to get some practice. Since this is just a practice, we'll start in full synchro. Apparently, Mega Man can just activate it at will. Use a chip attack when the enemy flashes. Easy stuff. Good job, Lan. Don't try to counter every time, but if you can master it, I think you'll find it very effective. Still, it won't work with chips that stop time like Area Grab. Remember to use the right chip at the right time. Roger. I'm gonna go Master of Counter and Full Synchro. Delayed Explosion. Alright! Excellent! Nice work, Lan! Nice work, Mega Man! Okay, now let's run that errand for Mom. She said the kitchen comp is in ACDC area, too. Let's head out. Roger. I really gotta figure out how to fix the, uh... Oh, you know what I could do? I could just put something in front of it. So I don't have to see the background. Welcome to the virtual universe, the internet. This is ACDC Area 1. Enjoy yourself. So this game continues the trend of having big, uh, colorful roads. Uh, mark where to go. Like, mark the main street so that's easy to follow. A huge step up from uh, the first game where it was everything was just blue, small, and like looks like a pair of headphones when you have them in your pocket for too long. The wide green road you're standing on is the ACDC area main street. Just follow it and you can't go wrong. Except when you get into virus battles. And you can most certainly go wrong. Oh yeah, the cannons are different in this game. Uh, they ditched the old cannon design. I don't know if that was in 4, but these new ones actually have like a guard that drops down in front of them. It's pretty cool. Ow. Got it, and then I lost it. So the neat thing about Full Synchro, it does apply per hit. So for an attack that hits... Hey, Kiwi! Um, so for an attack that hits three times for ten damage, it'll hit for three times for twenty damage. Fifty Zenny. Actually, hold on one second. I'm gonna try to do the thing I just said. I'm gonna take a document here and, like, just kind of stretch it a bit so it's over the window. And then I'll pull this down... Perfect. It's a little lower on the screen than I'd like it to be, but, um... Actually, let me... Lift this up just so I can see the chat a bit. Perfect. Now I don't have to, uh... Now I don't have to look at the screen twice, aside from, like, a little corner piece. The security cube for males HP. 
Can't be unlocked without its P code. Have you heard of a subchip? Unlike battle chips, subchips are disposable. There are many types of subchips, including chips that recover HP, reduce encounters with enemies, and deactivate security. To use a subchip, open the PETU sc uh, screen with start and select subchip. It's the same tutorial from before. Unlike battle chips, you can use them outside of battle. If you're interested, just talk to that Navi over there. He sells a wide variety of subchips. still running good. I got I got caught up with something. I had to come in and honestly be sorry because my online art career kind of ended and I can't sub to people on Twitch no more. When I get the opportunity next I'll continue to sub. I believe genuinely good streams deserve to be supported without the coin. I I really appreciate that. I and I, I I definitely won't turn down a sub especially since I'm donating all of it to charity right now. Um, that being said if you can't sub to me don't worry about it. I I personally I don't I don't need the money. I'm actually really good on money right now in terms of work. Um so that's why I'm just donating everything to charity instead. Uh that and you know the charities kinda need it more than I people need it more than I do right now. That said, um yeah, don't 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 worry about it at all. Uh I appreciate the support and I've always appreciated it. Honestly, you just being here is worth more than the sub to me. <laughs> at least. <laughs> Lost it again. Um, I'm sorry to hear that though. Like, why did your art career end? It makes me happy to see you stream. Thank you. I appreciate that. I know not everyone can always be around when I stream, and I tend to get a little like upset when I get no viewers, and that's just because I generally stream after midnight, like four hours from three hours from now. Uh. But I, I know there's people out there that do enjoy watching my streams, even though I don't feel that I'm that great of a streamer. Hi, Mega. I mean, like, schedules and stuff. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, is it is it because of all that's, uh, shut, don't say that I'll give you a smack? <laughs> is it because of, uh, like, everything that's going on right now? I know that that's kind of messed a lot of people up. Honestly, that's why I stream more now, because I have the extra time. Hi, Mega. Hello, Roll. Where are you going? I'm running an errand for Mom. Gutsman and Glide were in ACDC area, too. If you spot them, why don't you say hi? Whoops, I'm lost. Which way to the main street? No, the art career ended because there was a bit of bad publicity. I wasn't really make statements and stuff I didn't know yet, and I was lambasted. Really? I didn't know. Um, I, that's, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you doing okay otherwise? Like, is, is everything alright? Myron Castle 3 websites got reported and banned because of how they did it. The sites won't bring my stuff back. Oh. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. All my fans turned against me and I'm at rock bottom again. Wow, I'm really sorry. TI security cube. Why is GI tucked into a corner? Um. I mean, I'm, so I'm sorry to hear that. If, if, uh. My parents, but I'll be okay. I applied to a bunch of jobs today, so you're hopeful. Well, I mean, best of luck with that. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, though. I would love to see some of your art, though. Uh, maybe you get, get in contact with me uh, off stream, and I'll definitely take a look at it. I didn't know you were an artist. I had an archive, but like six years of not safe for work art got removed from their sites. Oh, all right. I mean, I know 
a lot about not safe for work art, so it's fine. Uh, if if the channel, if if my icon and my name isn't very very clear, I run with a very speci specific community, and not safe for work art is kind of the norm. Made the money. Glad you get it. A lot of people get make the ugh face when they hear it was the nudies. There's nothing wrong with nude art. A door, a door bars the way it won't open. I mean, is you know, within reason. Like there's you know, no, there's obviously situations where it's you know not good, but I, I you know, it's not stuff I'd like to discuss on stream generally. And it's kind of like a really bad issue for some people, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. What? That Met is, uh, hitting pretty fast for a level 1. Did they up the speed in this game? If there's one thing... Oh, where's my other... Where'd it go? If there's one thing people don't realize about me, it's that you could try to kill me, but I won't die or give up. If I could get a fan base like once, I could do it again. I never showed my face, so the anonymity keeps me safe. I see. Um, yeah, I mean, best of luck. I, I don't know what happened, but I'm sure you can recover from it. Hmm? Kitchen comp? Never heard of it. Maybe it's in ACDC area too? Just follow the road and you'll get there. Bug frag. Welcome to ACDC area too. Bab. Yeah, fairly standard start to a Battle Network game. Fight a couple enemies, get a couple chips, nothing amazing. There's a locked data at the very beginning to tease you. Didn't even say anything bad, it was just people wanted blood. It was about the writing, and the first statement I made was I need to learn more about the situation before making any statements on my own opinion, because people were tired of hearing that. Yeah, I, I mean, that's definitely something like... It's it's definitely, it's, it's because people, people, yeah, exactly, it's because people are tired. There's really nothing else to say regarding it. I knew going in that the best, you know, the best course of action is to just listen to other people and, you know, not really say anything, just support them, which is what I'm doing. I don't really talk about the goings-on in the world because I really... I... I... I'm informed, but not informed enough to make a. Uh, you're a bit of a. You're in a bit of a grob. No, no, it's fine. I don't know enough about the situations. I mean, I do. I know a lot about the situations now, and I can definitely say stuff. But why? Why would I? It's better for me to just do my part and donate and raise awareness. Um. So that's how. That's my view on it. Like, I I can speak out on it, and if I have to, I will. But people aren't coming to the stream to see that. I'm, I'm here to make people happy and raise some money for a good cause. Yeah, but it's like, you know, it's it, it's hard to explain. It, it might still upset people because people are just, you know, they're, it's coming from a place of, of, you know, being tired of what's going on. And so they're not always willing to just, like, think of someone saying, I'm not ready to say something as, uh... Like, I'm going to not- I'm not going to say anything, period. I- I don't know. Again, it, it's about listening to other people, I think, in the, at the end of the day. Spick and span! After we go, uh, everything is spick and span. Oops. I guess you've figured out what we are. That's right! We're the ones that keep the net sparkly clean. Do us a favor and don't leave your trash around. Suck. Hey, Zangoose.
Too late. Glad your wise fellow got pressure to give an opinion when it's like comfortable enough to make a statement. This is the one of blood. I don't blame him with the ruckus going on. It's a hard reset, but sometimes it's nice. I mean... Don't leave a trash around. Time to pack it in, boys. Yeah. Stream's over. That's a security cube. If I'm not mistaken, in Battle Network 3, you could, uh, stun enemies- you could counter enemies by shooting them with the buster. Which is ridiculous. That would make it way too easy. It does carry over between battles, too, I think, so I still have it. Unless you put better battle chips into a folder, they won't come up in battle. Be sure to edit your chips. Guts, guts, guts! Mega Man, is that you? Hello, Guts, man. I'm trading chips with Glide right now. Is this game the earliest form of this style of combat? Uh, no, uh, this is the fifth game. Uh, the full synchro was introduced last game as a battle mechanic, even though it was in the series uh, from the last game. I'm trading chips with Glide right now. That Yai sure gives her Navi some great chips. Hello, Glide. Why, hello, Mega Man. What brings you here? I'm running an errand for Mom. How kind of you. Yeah, I could learn a few things from a nice lad like Lan. Er, don't tell her I said that. He is very prim and proper, yes. I forgot you actually do something online at the beginning of this game. I thought you just go to the spot in the real world that you're supposed to go to. The plot hasn't even been set up yet. I'm still just doing the tutorial. I'm a net dealer. Want to see my stuff? Yes, that's by the first HP memory of the game. Uh, Vulcan C, we don't need it. Oh yeah, I don't know if this was in the last game, but they actually show you how many of each chip code you have now. Uh, spreader. Oh, we can't buy anything else. Never got playable boss glide. Oh, hey, Medi. Um, no, we didn't, but there is a video online of someone who hacked a glide fight into Battle Network 6, and it looks so good. If, if it's a real mod, I would love to try it out someday. Like, he uses he uses super powerful chips, and he has a, a zenny attack. Oh, I had another can. Oops. You're gonna lose your six-month streak, Rip. It's fine, don't worry about it. Sometimes I forgot- <laughs> must use verb. Sometimes I forgot how fast this game goes from baby game to CBT. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, th some of these game- this post game for a lot of these get into real, you know, virtual nut-busting territory. Stop eating such junk food like instant noodles. We'll try our best to make you some really good food. Don't eat that frozen food like it was so delicious. Doesn't it make you want to cry having such food? I mean, I'm probably going to be making, like, stovetop mac and cheese. Well, not even stovetop. Like, craft mac and cheese. Or chili tonight. Hey, Maruchan's great. I mean, aside from the fact that there's enough salt to kill you. You love chili. I usually make chili with cheese, um... Sorry, cheese, sour cream, and hot sauce in it. All very, very common store-bought shit, but it's pretty good. And I'll make fries with it, too. Excuse me, Navi, do you belong to my mom's friend? Oh, you must be Mega Man, Lan's Navi. I've heard lots of good things from you from Lan's mom. A mom asked me to give this to you. 
Mega Man gives stew recipe. Sometimes simplicity can bring dank meals. Yeah, I mean, it's just a hodgepodge of different shit lying around the house, but it, it's good. I would love to try, like, authentic, like, homemade chili someday, though. Heavens, you brought this all this way? I'd heard Lan's mom cooks a wonderful stew. So my operator asked for her for the... Excuse me, so her, my operator asked her for the stew recipe. Thank you so much. I can't wait to try out the stew recipe. Mega Man's only saved the world four times by now. I think he deserves at least some good things. Yeah. Say hello to Lan's mom, will you? He needs a nice, like, a nice relaxing virtual massage. Does debugging? Is debugging, like, giving them a massage? I tried making homemade chili once since canned stuff wasn't cutting it for me. It was very much worth it. I have a bag of chili uh, powder that one of, that someone I used to know gave to me a long time ago, and I never used it. It's still downstairs in my uh, pantry. And let's get back home to your homework. I wonder what debugging feels like. Haha, <laughs> just asking for a friend. Are you kidding, Mega Man? That was Mom's errand. Now it's my time to play on the net. But Lan... Land, you've got mail. Hmm? It's from Dad. I'll read it. Land, please round up everybody and bring them to the My Lab at the Psy Lab. My Lab at the Psy Lab. I have something to show you. Wow. Wonder what Dad wants to show us. I guess everybody would be male, Dex, and Yai, and not my mom, who's married to him. Okay, let's jack out and go round up the crew. Jack out, Mega Man. Roger. I Wait, I didn't get something here. There was a mystery data, probably. You have mail, Lan. Oh man, ha again, the oop, hit the wrong button. Again, the the A and B buttons being switched from X and O when I was playing Final Fantasy is just like really throwing me off now. I keep wanting to hit B to to confirm. Data's gone. Well, it's not gone. It's just uh, yeah, the overclock button. Let me just overclock my GBA real quick. Okay, we got away. Alright, I'm not gonna do that too much. <laughs> King Crimson. It's not King Crimson though, because I wouldn't be I would be erasing time if that were the case. I'm speeding time up. That's uh That's uh Poochie's ability, ain't it? I don't know much about Stone Ocean. Uh, I am eagerly awaiting the the anime for Stone Ocean, especially if um, especially the dub if uh, my acquaintance gets into it. Hey V4, how you been? You know next to nothing about Stone Ocean, yeah. I have a general plot synopsis of all eight parts, but I've only seen the anime. I've never read the manga. I want the anime, but I manga part 7 and 8. Oh, Mark Cannon. Oh, that's right, actual cannons aren't even in this game anymore. Oh, what? Oh, I'm in ACDC area 2 already. Okay. You couldn't go to that route uh, even beforehand. Lan would say, uh, Mega Man would say we gotta do Mom's Errand. I'm upset that the dub of Part 5 is kind of halted, too. That's upsetting and annoying. Uh, that and My Hero Academia both kind of are getting hurt pretty bad right now because of the uh, COVID delays. I feel like Part 5 had a lot of wasted potential. Yeah. There's, there's a lot in Part 5 that doesn't get followed up on, and the original bad translations of the manga made it very, like, made people not like it very much. I do think the anime was a good time, though. Part 4 is your favorite so far, 7 and 8 are great, too. I would have to say, overall, Part 4 probably still is my favorite, but, um... What the hell, is there no mystery data in here? Or did I get it already, and I missed it, and I just forgot? Um... Yeah, part four is my favorite overall, so far. 
It just had the coolest vibe. I liked the difference in tone. Because every other part of JoJo was like, oh, shit's get escalating off the rails here. The whole world's possibly in danger. And then you have part four where it's like, okay, this dude's threatening this one town for, for sexual kicks. Animated part seven is sure gonna be a time and a half. I'm gonna admit, I wasn't too big on the idea of the Steel Ball Run universe at first, just because I'm like, oh, well, it's a reset. Everything from the previous six parts is ignored. But the more I hear about Part 7 and the more I read about it, the more I'm like, wow, I really, uh, I really want to watch, uh, I really want to watch an anime adaptation of this. Because it sounds really good. Even Jojolian. Like, Jojolian to me seemed like a very bleak and weird series. Uh, but now that I'm hearing more about it, I'm like, oh, I, I really hope it finishes and gets animated. And I'm wondering if Araki's gonna do a Part 7 after that. Thank, Lan. <laughs> Thank. Thank with spaces between each letter. Thank you, Lan, Mega Man. My friend was happy to get the recipe. What? You're going to visit your father? Then have a nice time. Tell your father I said hi. Let's go get them. They should be home. One can say that part was finger looking good. Yes. Look at what I have. My dad bought me a new PET. It does everything. I can make phone calls and do email. By the way, do you know what NetNavis are? NetNavis control the programs inside our PETs. Like email. When a new email arrives, who reads it? You guessed it, you're NetNavi. So don't send any weird emails to people, because they'll know immediately that you're weird. I don't know how bad... I don't know how, but that's what Dad said. And remember, press start to open the PET screen. This tree's been trimmed to look like a dinosaur. It's so lifelike that it keeps prowlers away. Would you like to have my sub chips? Want to take a look? Be prepared and have no regrets. Sounds like a Pokemon character. Okay, but real talk. What's the what's internet porn like in this universe? You know it has to exist. Probably very weird and very very hard to be discreet. <laughs> Jojolin is probably the most different part, IMO. It's kind of like part two and part four smushed together. Really? Part two? I would have never guessed. I know it's like part four in a way, but probably super immersive TBH, yeah. That's what Wily's uh, pulse pods were used for in, in the third game. To have sex with navvies. A grand pattern is carved on this pillar. A strange shaped black device. It's some kind of ancient telephone. A perfectly cleaned window. The maid cleans its glass so good you don't even see it. The maid does good work. Good job. <laughs> the bird in here peers right at land. It somehow has a noble look to it. One of a kind custom made stuffed rabbit. It's strange that it would be left on the floor. Captivating landscape painting is hung here. Art dealers are always looking to buy the famous works. A comfortable bed. It would put even insomniacs to sleep. Goldfish that Yai selected herself. It's not the same cheap fro it's not the s it's not some cheap fish one as a prize. That's what Yai says all the time lately. This may look like a real furnace, but it's actually a cutting-edge climate control system. It's not on right now. Press the power switch. The climate control system is turned on. It makes a humming sound as it runs. Very expensive table made in Utopia. Serenade had full control of all the Nets porn until Mega Man took him down and deleted it all. Rip power bill. Huge forehead girl. <laughs> yeah, um... What you... Do you think Yai's concerned about the power bill? She's rich. Yai's PC offers top-notch performance design and ease of use. It's also super easy to jack into. All oh, right, this game is the one that has the famous, uh, the famous misread line. Can't wait to get to that point. Regup two. Oh, that means I can put Buster. Plus is my uh. Where is it? Yeah, Buster up. There we go. Do you have to pay your bill in the Power Net uh, Battle Network universe? Everything is connected, so there's got to be a lot of power used over and over. Haha, <laughs> what's a deck building power chip go burr? Um, yes, I do think there's bills, because in um, Battle Network 2, they straight up have a bill counter at the official center. Ooh, my voice just 
cracked hard right there. Oh, it does affect charge shots. Nice. Miss Yai's latest thing is goldfish. I designed her page to fit in with that. What do you think? Yeah, there's the PET bill in the second game. And also the waterworks. When you go to the waterworks in the first game, they mention paying your water bill. What's in that lock data? A chat bibis. Bibis. Looks like there's a new post. This is Yai's site, this is the BBS, please post at your leisure. Nice new site, the goldfish are cute. It reminds me of the ACDC festival last year. What fun. We should all go again this year. Super sight dude, and teeks for trading that nice chip. Now Dex's folder won't just be a bunch of cannons. I added a BBS to Dex's site too. It's all about battles. Hope to see your comments. I missed the second game when all the BBSs were in the same spot, and not in like six different PCs. Oh no, Mega Man, we can't save the world because someone forgot to pay their bills. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, because in Battle Network 1, when the power plant was running out of power, the network was, like, disappearing as you were going through it. So, if the power gets shut down, does that imply that, like, the entire internet just dies and all the navvies just float in nothingness? Thanks, Mel. I've got goldfish idea. I've got the goldfish idea from the fair. Remember, last time when we scooped goldfish? Antiques got man. Guts, man. I checked out the site. Tell Dex to take his face off the site. It'll scare everybody away. Meanwhile, in the last game, Yai had her face on her site. Guess what I found at Higsby's shop in ACDC Town? A new PET. It's called Progress PET. I would have bought one, but I was one zenny short. Next time I go, I'll bring my whole piggy bank. I went to buy one with Mail. It's easier for our navvies to get around with the new version, and it comes in lots of colors. Mail got her and hers in pink. Excuse me. Wow, you got me curious. It sounds like quite, like quite a PET. How many of Dr. Wily's plants can be stopped by turning it off and on again? Uh, let's see. Uh, the pulse, probably. Pulse system. Not the rocket, probably. Uh... Second game was not him. Fourth game wasn't him. I mean, I guess out of his plants so far, one out of two. <laughs> data on your battle chips is saved in the data library on the PET screen. If you get a new battle chip, check out the data library to find out what kind of chip it is. Got it? I never spoke to Yai, I just realized I, di I dipped out of her house without talking to her. Hey Yai! Oh, if it isn't Lan, what brings you here? Dad wants to show everybody something at Scilab. Let's go! Sounds fascinating, but I need time to get ready. A lady can't just rush off without getting prepared. Okay, let's meet in 30 minutes in front of Metro Line Station. 30 minutes? Very well. See you then. Walk around, fuck around on her PC, say nothing, and leave. Now, just what shall I wear? She puts on, like, a giant sun hat. Oh, boy, here we go. <clears throat> hey, Dex. What's up, Lynn? Dad wants to show everybody something at Scilab. Let's go. Hey, that sounds totally cool. Okay, let's meet in 30 minutes in front of Metro Line Station. You betcha. See you then. Nothing. That Wow, that was very little dialogue from Dex. Don't look at me like that. I won't be late. Eternal voice cracking. I give him Eddie's voice from Ed, Ed and Eddie because that's who voices him in the, uh, in the dub of NT Warrior. It's the same voice actor as Eddie's voice actor. Comic books read until they began falling apart. He apparently reads his favorite pages countless times. It's literally Eddie's vo voice, just slightly deeper, too. An empty waste can has fallen over. A Gutsman poster. I think it makes Gutsman look better than he really does. Closet doors lies askew. This place certainly has a charm all of its own. In a strange way. Things are strewn about the table. It's scratched up and looks like it's been used for years. 
that handheld system everyone loves. For kids, it's as, it's as essential as owning a PET. A carefully chim trimmed plant is displayed. It seems at odds with the surrounding mess. TV displaying the latest video game. The game graphics are photorealistic. The game console has been left on. Dex often brags that he's the best gamer in ACDC town. Dex is well-used bat and glove. Dex is known for his overpowering swing and pitching. Like his net battles. A half-built model on the desk. Parts are strewn about. Dex's plans to Dex's plans to paint it himself. Nice, uh, nice dialogue. Or nice, uh, flavor text. I like his yellow PC, though. Dex's PC. It doesn't sound like it's operating properly. I can jack in. Wait, is doesn't? No, never mind. It's right. I have it. I, my brother got me a blue and black 2DS XL. New 2DS XL for Christmas last year because my 3DS was breaking. And uh, I found out the other day that there's a yellow and black one in Japan. And I was like, oh, that's my aesthetic right there. I have yellow and black ties. I have yellow and black Joy-Cons on my Switch. I have yellow and black color schemes all over my room. I would have loved to have that kind of 2DS. Reg up one. This is the webpage of Dex, number one net battler in ACDC town. It's chock full of battle information. HP memory. This might come as shock, but yours is red and white. Nice. That there there is the battle BBS, the crown jewel of this site. It won't fail to move you to tears. Tears of boredom, maybe. Looks like there's a new post. Yo, guys, I'm your webmaster, Dex. Thanks for coming to my site. Really, this says THX, but before you said TKS. This BBS is for you tough guys to talk about battles. Write about virus busting and net battles, will ya? Or use the BBS to challenge me to a duel. But be ready to go up against Dex and Gutsman, the toughest net battler team in ACDC town. And I want to see comments from Class 6A at ACDC school. What's this talk about BBS being for tough guys? That better not mean a lady like me isn't welcome. Well anyway, I need some net battle tips right away. How do I beat the vi a virus that fights like a boxer? Alright, those start in this game. When I try to attack, it warps right up to me and punches me first, even when I'm at a loss. Even I'm at a loss this time. Champy's number. Heh. <laughs> yeah, I should have said tough guys and tough girls, too. And that virus must be Champy. Well, I'll know what you to do. When you line up with him, he'll appear right near you. When he does that, move to another space and his punch will miss. That's when I send a guts punch right back at him. That's the trick for beating Champy. Boom. Kaboom. Give him the guts punch he deserves. Or the guts machine gun. Or the guts hammer. Go get him. Well, we don't use guts punches, but Dex's advice sure did help us beat Champy. So I'd like to thank you on behalf of Missy I. Did everyone decide what to write the report on? My Navi Roll and I are going to write about elements. Koetsu. Oh, the return of Koetsu. Hello, it's me, the battle researcher Koetsu. Elements, you say. Excellent topic. Have you heard the phrase, elements are everything? Well, it's true. There are four elements, fire, aqua, elec, and wood. Double attack with fire on wood, wood on elec, elec on aqua, or aqua on fire. Did I give away too much? Find out more on your own. That's not true, though, because there's a lot more elements in this game. I think there's he heal, sword, aim, break. I heard that some chips merge during battle, like cannons for merging to form a giga cannon. I tried it, but they didn't combine. But don't tell anybody. That's the program advanced mode, or PA mode for short. Choose three chips with chip codes in order ABC. Insert the chips in order to activate PA mode. PA mode chip is way more powerful than a normal mode chip. Even I've never used a PA mode chip. They're way too hard. Wow, PA mode. Sounds difficult. Thanks, Dex. I think I'm going to try this PA mode thing. For my homework, I'll find lots of PA mode combos. I'm Yu from ACDC School 6A, Student 4. Have you ever seen Mystery Data show up in battle? I did. I finished the battle without destroying it and... <laughs> the rest is a secret. I decided to do my report on Mystery Data. I'm choosing regular chips. These are the chips that always appear on the custom screen. Select your regular chips by going into the edit screen and pressing the select on chip. The select on a chip. The yellow outline shows that you've selected the chip. <laughs> How's that? Do I know my stuff or what? Hello, Koetsu here. Koetsu? Koetsu here. Well, you almost know your stuff. You didn't mention the all-important data size. Data size is shown right on each chip. 
to the right of each chip. It's the size of the chip data. You can't select a regular chip unless its size is less than that of the reg PET regular memory. You can increase your max memory with a reg up. Use regular chips strategically, and you'll overcome the mightiest of foes. I need a sip after all that. It's a lot of dialogue to read. We've got to round up everybody. Shop lights are off. Must be closed. Again. And for some reason, Higsby's shop is over here. Instead of over where it used to be. What are you going to write about for your school report? I'm going to write about the regular system. I'm already halfway done. Here, oh god, we just read this. Well, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? Oh yeah. You can expand your regular memory with the reg up item. I gotta jot this all down before I forget. A statue of a squirrel, ACDC Park symbol. Beloved because it calms the soul. A closer look reveals a terminal for jacking in. However, the terminal is all dirty and appears inoperable. Hey, do you know what virus busting is? Oh really? Shoot, I was really itching to tell somebody. Ah well. And let me explain it to you. Virus busting is the purging of viruses. And how do you do that? It's easy. Jack in your PET into a squirrel. Jack in your PET. <laughs> it just said squirrel because you just mentioned it. The squirrel's public jacking hole is too dirty. Yes. Too many people are using it. It's easy. Jack in your PET into an infected terminal and send your navi in to pick a fight with the virus. That way your navi can delete the virus. And then your virus hunt is complete. You get all that? Jacking your PET into a squirrel. Yeah, it is what happens. Latest security system disguised as a doghouse. A jack-in port is included because it requires periodic maintenance. This doghouse is in every game. And it is always a jack in -able. In Battle Network 2, the doghouse had like really powerful viruses in it for the point you could get into it. Because in Battle Network 2, the, uh, the uh, system was down for like the first half of the game, and then when you go up in their second half, they have like really like Natopian level viruses in there. <clears throat> and now it's just basic met stuff. Rawr! Pretty scary, huh? I could scare any crook away with my voice. Uh, hmm? Oh, sorry, I just couldn't hold it in. This 24-7 security system is starting to get to me. It's about time to go around to everyone's homes. No uh, flavor text in this game for areas. A ladder to the top bunk. Closet. I can't look in there. Even close friends have limits. A lovely heart-shaped pillow. Male loves it. Portable electronic piano that can be played outside. A lone ace of hearts is on the deck. It's fat. It's facing this way and affects land somehow. This is Mail's PC. It's linked with her electronic piano so she can write music. There's also a port for jacking in. Really having trouble speaking today, huh? Welcome! This is Mail's webpage. Mail likes to shop and play piano. Mini energy. Mini eng. Energy bomb. Ooh, that's a better ship uh, than a uh, regular bomb. That hits, I believe, three times. It does 10 less damage, but it hits multiple times. Hey, Mail. Something up, Lynn? Dad wants to show everybody something at Scilab. Let's go. Sure. But I have to get ready before I go. 
Okay, let's meet in 30 minutes in front of the Metro Line station. Okay, see you then. Wanna head to the meeting place? Any NPCs over here I didn't talk to? No. Also, something I really like about this game, about this music, uh, if you listen, you hear that uh, the main Battle Network theme in the background at the very beginning of it. 30 minutes later. Which they don't use anymore, because all the Battle Networks 4 through 6 don't have that main title screen theme. They have different music. It's almost time. Lan, sorry to keep you waiting. Hey, where's Dex? Not here yet. Well, he's got a lot of nerve. I don't have time to wait around for slackers. This part right here, if you listen to the whistling in the background. It does the da 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 Which is uh, the main theme that they used for the first three games. I believe they also bring that theme back in the last game, uh, in the credits. Homebrewed your 3DS, you can use custom themes. Found the Battle Network on that played the theme. Nice. Don't worry, Yai, he'll be here any second. I wonder why your dad would ask all of us to come. You know, I actually have no idea. When dad wants something to show but when dad wants to show something everybody wow I got to reset my brain here I think I have to like hard reset it but when dad wants to show something to everybody you can bet that it's something far out whoa <laughs> sorry dudes I was having so much fun doing gutsman's maintenance I forgot to leave on time you need to download a personal planner dex now, now, we're all here, so let's go see the big surprise. Yeah, Mel's right. Follow me, everybody. And they were never heard from again. Scilab, it has been a while. How's your dad? He hasn't been home at much recently, right? We're here, Scilab. Let's go. Aeroplanes. Plate with Scilab in large letters. I always feel a bit nervous coming here. Even Scilab, home of the best brains in the country, has a plain old trash can. Contains nothing but energy drinks. Is work at Scilab really all that hard? A statue of a man stands here. It points a finger forward in hope for scientific advances. All the greatest scientists are here at Scilab. What? Does that make me a great scientist? No, I just like to wear lab coats and hang out here. Sup, Chip Dude. They have it good at Scilab with that beautiful park. Maybe I'll quit my job and apply to Scilab. Doc, up ahead. A do not enter sign is placed here. It blocks the way. Bench rests here. Scilab workers come here to relax and get fresh air. A unique sculpture portraying a chip. The concept is fusion is the fusion of art and science. It has a jack in port to symbolize that. Studying it with a serious face might make sense of it. Is that what they call art? This monument is simple, and yet it signifies happiness, grief, and the potential that the future holds. A fine piece of work. Let's hurry and see Dad. Hurry up, Mega Man! Oh, uh, cool. I forgot how, like, slowly the beginning of this game goes if you don't rush through everything. This game is infinitely better than Battle Network 4, though, which I remember last year. I was kind of eager to get that game done and over with. I would have to say this is probably tied for my second favorite Battle Network with 3. 2 is still my favorite. Even though 3 is objectively the best game.
Art is wonderful. Come on, shout it out with me. Art is so wonderful. This is Scilab. Should we go inside then? The hour is upon us. Begin the operation. Do not deny me. Embrace me. Man, I'm still reeling after after last night's stream, too. All, all the shit that went down in those last four hours of that game is just... Like, I, I watched... I think I watched two reviews of the game afterwards. I watched, finished watching Vinny Vinesauce's stream, and then I watched the Easy Allies podcast about it, and there's so much potential for where that for where part two of FF7 can go. I heard a cruise ship's coming over to the harbor. Uh, I heard a cruise ship's coming to the harbor over yonder. I wonder how much longer it'll be. I can't wait. I make sure nobody suspicious gets past here. I know you. You're Dr. Hakari's boy. Boar? Boy. You're free to go on ahead. Info terminal for visitors, but it's older than the one next to it and lacks a jack in port. It includes a jack in port to download data to a PET. That Scilab logo looks like the new... I think it's the Quiznos logo? Or the Subway logo? I can't remember. It looks like one of those. Speaking of sandwiches, I had Jersey Mike's a few times over the last week, and man... I, I don't think I could go back to Subway. Well, no, I probably could, but... Their subs are just so much better than Subway. cc to Omega. Oh, cc to... Omega? cc makes nine square water zone, three squares ahead. That's useful, but not right now. We could throw out crack out. We don't really need that. In fact, if anything, I'm going to put in a uh, double crack. Let's chuck in copy damage, too. That's a good chip. Sorry, I just had to, uh... Actually, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Sorry, just had to uh, check something real quick. Uh, if you missed it a few days ago, I had a big issue with, uh, OBS, Streamlabs OBS, where half my stream not only didn't broadcast, but it didn't record on the VOD either, or on my recording, so mo half of the stream is just missing, and I'm really upset about it, because it's just gone forever. You can't jack into that old model terminal over there. But I'm a new model, so you'll have no problem jacking in. I'm so cool! I'm the terminal program. Your guide to Scilab is right here. No doubt the phone here rings off the hook. Map of Scilab is displayed here. Dad's lab can be reached via the elevator. Cutting edge Electopia technology is developed here. Cutting edge. What a wonderful ring that phrase has. Wonder where Dr. Hikari's lab is. I'm excited in this place, I can hardly contain myself. I gotta pee my pants. Some nice plant is displayed in the reception area. Welcome to Psy Lab. Dr. Hikari's lab is up the stairs or elevator. ID card is required to unlock the door. It's locked. Entry is restricted to Psy Lab staff. Wow, so this is Psy Lab. Very cool. Plants are full of plants. It's nice to have some greenery in a place like this. Vending machine with unappetizing energy drinks. Do Scilab workers really like to drink this stuff? Trash can for empty cans. Hmm? A look inside reveals an unexpected item. 
Displayed here are terminals Scilab has worked on. The amount of work concentrated here is mind-blowing. Plants like these help filter indoor air. I'm a salesman for a company that sells PET parts. I'm scheduled to meet somebody here, but they're late. I'm on my fifth cup of coffee for crying out loud. Sheesh. Lab workers relax their tired minds here. I'm to meet with a man from a company that makes PET parts, but he was supposed to be here a while ago. At this rate, the two cups of coffee I made will cool off. Whatever could be the matter. They're, they're literally, he's literally right here. These dudes are literally right next to each other. Land does nothing to intervene. Let's hurry over to Dad's lab. I think it's time I hydrate. Dad! Ah, you're here, Lan. Did you bring everybody along with you? Yup! Alright, everybody, come on inside. Hello. Scilab, whoopee! Hello, Dr. Hikari. Great, you're all here. The reason why I've asked you all here today is to show you something very special. Something very special? A program I found when going through some old documents. Whoops, forgot my ID card. Oh boy, gotta love these secure Scilab computers. I can't do a thing without my ID card anymore. Land, could you please get my ID? It's in my desk drawer. Okay, I'll bring it right back. Dad, which drawer is it? The big one, in the middle. Thanks, Dad. Let's see, which one is it? Hmm? The confirm ID screen isn't coming up. It worked fine yesterday. And there it is, that same emergency klaxon that they use in every game. Emergency! Emergency! A group of navvies have, has infiltrated the net, and has occupied several areas. Hey, hey who are you? D ah! ah! The net's been occupied? What's happening? Hmm? What's this? Hmm? What? Everybody stand back from- Um, sure. Uh, sleeping guess. What in blazes is going on? Uh, thunk. He thunked like he wasn't already collapsed. Lan. Wake up, Lan. D Dad. Everybody. Everybody. Look at these gimp dudes. I love how no one thinks to check back there, too. Confirmed. Dr. Hakari. Gas concentration, 0.03%. It is now safe to enter. Guess who? Well, well, Dr. Hikari. Take him away. Yes, sir. I want his monocle. Yeah, his monocle's really cool. Master Regal, what about his friends? Confiscate their PETs. Without them, they'll be helpless anyway. Yes, sir. All PETs were claimed. I wonder why Lan isn't here. No matter, our job is done. We've no time to waste. Let us be gone. Yes, sir. So yeah, Regal's still alive. Uh, him jumping off the building at the end of the stream last year 
did absolutely nothing to him except make him look much more sinister than he did before because now he has a beard. I love also how Regal didn't have enough foresight to even just check behind the partition to see if Lan was there. Dad. Dad. Thunk. Thunk. Lan. Lan. Dad. Dad. Dad! Lan wakes up. Lan, thank goodness you've come too. I was worried sick. You've been asleep for three days. I'm afraid it's been... nine years. Th three days? Right, the last thing I remember was the sleeping gas. Wait, what about Dad? Is he alright? Um... Dad, kidnapped by Regal? So that wasn't a bad dream. I've got to rescue him. Lan, you must stay in bed. But Mom... Now Lan, you do as I tell you. Aw, uh, Mom... Lan, you need to stay in bed. Am I making myself clear? So yeah, shit got real. It go this game really goes from like 0 to 100 in, a in like a matter of minutes. I was really worried about you. Not to mention Dad. I know, I know, but... I've got to go rescue him. But with Mom all worried... I'll have to stay here for now. I'm here in my room. Let's see what info I can gather. Right. By the way, what happened to Mail and the others? Everybody woke up before you, Lan. They're at home recovering. Everyone's upset about losing their PETs. Right. For everybody's sake, I've got to search for data. I heard a message about some group taking over the net. What was that all about? Yeah, I'm worried about that too. Let's check the net. We might be able to find some clues that could lead to Dad. Okay, let's do it. Check in. Mega Man, execute. <laughs> so now we get, uh, Dark Net. What? Who turned out the lights? Things have really changed. Just what's going on here? Mega Man, let's forge ahead. If we're lucky, we'll find some clues. Anything could happen here. Stay on guard. Roger. I actually don't think anything happens here. It's just dark. Warning! Warning! This area has been commandeered by an unknown group. All visitors jack out immediately. Run away! Oh no, look at all these dangerous viruses that weren't here before. You're not gonna hurt me, are ya? I'm a subchip dealer. All one word. Hey, what are you doing? This area is dangerous. Run away while you still can. Oh boy, I gotta jack out quick. This area was suddenly taken over by a band of rogue navvies. You'd better escape too before it's too late. This game actually has a pausing noise. The huge door bars the way. 
you want, kid. Nebula's in charge of this area now. You know what we do to navvies who waltz into our areas? Delete them! First appearance of the boss team, and it's a regular ass fight. Shit. Aw, oh, this game still has the same glitch as before. Um. So. I don't know what causes it. It has to do with, um. With, uh. You know, the, the quote unquote totally legit Game Boy Advance I'm using to stream this. Half the times whenever a projectile is thrown, it just doesn't spawn. Like, at all. And that includes, like, the actual damage. It's, uh, ass. I just realized that. Ass. Um, it's really weird. Like, see, that spawned, and that's gonna hit. But, like, watch. He'll fire again. Oh, never mind. It's because I have three enemies gone now. Oh, but see, it didn't, it didn't spawn there. It has something to do with, like, a, like an effect limit. With this program. So it's trying to spawn a bomb, but it's just not getting thrown. Because it's, it's, there's, there's the limits being hit. It's a, it's, it's a glitch with this uh, particular program. It technically makes the game easier, but also... Not really. <laughs> it seems I've underestimated you. I thought all the navvies of your caliber were gone. Enough fooling around. I'll show you my true power. <laughs> Find time for headquarters to recall me. What the... The scientist kidnapped from Scilab has awakened. The scientist kidnapped from Scilab? You mean my dad? Where have you taken him? Ah, uh, you're the son of that scientist. Well, don't expect to be seeing him anytime soon. We'll be borrowing him until our plan comes to fruition. <laughs> so long, kid. Wait! Her if only this door would open. Can't you break it with the Mega Buster? Sorry, Mega Booster? This door is laced with a terrible dark power. The Buster powers. The Buster is powerless against it. Right, shoot! We'll have to think of something else. Yeah. At least we know that Dad is being held somewhere. Land, you've got mail. It's from Scilab. I'll read it. Newsflash Scilab main system was infiltrated. The invaders must be stopped immediately before Scilab is taken over. That's what they had time to write an email about it and send it to the general public. Wow! Could this be the work of Nebula? They're always up to no good. Mega Man, let's go. But we have to leave without Mom knowing why we're going. Right. We don't need to worry Mom any further. We'll have to think of a good excuse. You have mail, Lan. Let's tell Mom that we're going to Scilab land. Wait, what do you mean? You just said not to. I love the, the love the inconsistent writing. Land, you must take things easy for a while. I'm fine, Mom. Um, Mom, Dex invited me to play, which sounded kind of fun. Can I go? Land, just promise me one thing: that you absolutely will not go anywhere dangerous. Of course, Mom. Forgive me. Goodbye. Be careful, dear. Is there anything I could jack into here? No. Phooey, this is no fun. I got a brand new PET, but nobody's sending me any mail. I love how they said they're at home recovering, and yet none of them are probably at home. There's something strange here about the net recently. We need to call the Netbusters. I sure hope it's not another net crime. I just saw Dex and he sure seemed down. The usual Dex would start harassing me about net battles. This squirrel is a jack, but it looks too dirty to get any data. Shop lights are off, it must be closed. Land, thank goodness you've come too. Mel, what am I doing here? I don't know, Land, what are you doing here? When I stay inside, it just makes me sad. I came out for a walk to get my mind off things. Land, just in case something happens, please keep this with you as an amulet. Roll R! Oh, and use this, okay? Mail code. Take care of yourself, Land. Yeah, first M chip. I 
wish I had a cute navy like roll. Sorry, pal. Could you leave me alone? I can't forgive myself for letting them get guts, man. It's the opposite situation at, at, than the end of Battle Network 3. Just make one. <laughs> what am I doing here, you ask? Sitting in the shade to get out of the heat. What else? Phew, sure is hot. Isn't there a jack in port here? Yep! I forgot about that one. Tree comp. I actually use this comp a lot in the DS version for a very specific reason. Oh, actually, never mind. This isn't connected to the internet. I thought it was. What? My weather forecast was wrong. Oh, it's nice weather today. <laughs> this tree's really an advanced weather observation system. Pretty good camouflage, eh? Um, Hecto Pascal. I just felt like saying that. I had a cute navy like roll. I've been searching all over for Glide, but I haven't even found a clue. I hope that he's not hurt. Glide. It's a weather observation system designed to look like a tree. It's designed to allow you to jack in. ACDC Town, our home. You shouldn't need a description. It's Scilab. They study advanced technologies here. A map of the vicinity is provided here. Scilab and the dock are accessible via the stairs to the right. Something happened at Scilab. I wonder what. Things seem awfully quiet. Uh, uh, seem awfully, uh, excuse me, I'm having a stroke. Uh, uh. It sure is quiet. We're finished. Yeah, it's definitely the subway logo right there. The main system controls are completely out. What do we do now? The main system is up those stairs. And what they're saying, it sounds like big trouble. Let's go, Mega Man. Okay. Can I go up to Dad's lab? Yes, I can. The monitor displays Dad's tough schedule. Every minute of the day is scheduled. Special lab code for Scilab workers. I bet Dad doesn't look so good in it. Dad's locker is neatly arranged. It contains a few change of clothes for overnight stays. Two fine-looking sofas and a table. Dad greets his visitors here. They don't seem like they've been used too much. A system Dad built. It's faster than anything in Scilab. Powerful security limits who can operate it. This is no ordinary PC. It's rumored to hold data that could change the world. It has a port for jacking in.
Ah, uh, lock data. Can't unlock that. Look, look, check out my smooth moves. Only Dr. Hikari could do such great customizations. This PC also stirs state secrets. Please watch what you do. Uh, my eye just feels like I put like hot pepper on it. ID card is required to unlock the door. Do I still have Dad's ID? It's locked. It would open it with the signature of a si si excuse me. It would open with a signature of a Scilab staff member. Wonder if we could get an ID card. Let's see. Dad said, "There it is." Land got Dad's ID. Right. With Dad's ID, we could get past all the Scilab security. Yup! We should be able to open that door. Yup. Let's go, Lan. You bet, Mega Man. Door was unlocked. This is where the main system is, but why is it deserted? You're right, that is strange. But we gotta find whoever infiltrated the main system. Lan, send me into the main system. Yeah, you got it. Screens, numbers, and graphics are constantly changing. Scilab's main system. It is said to be the most powerful system in the world. Scilab's main system delivers unrivaled performance. The green LED indicating Jack in approval is lit. All data analyzed by Scilab over the past few decades is stored here in this main system. This card reader slot has a different shape from the rest. A special ID card is required to pass through. It's locked and we can't get in. Great music here, by the way. Remix of, uh, a slight remix of Search Man's theme from Mega Man 8. It's got a few of the same licks in it. Mega Man, find the navvies that invaded the main system. Roger. Vulcan D. Yeah, that's definitely Search Man's theme. Heavens, what to do? The backup data has been fragmented. The data must be restored to continue in this direction. Could you please reorganize the data? Changing that data is harder than it looks. It's heavy. You'll lend a helping hand, right? 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 Thanks, I knew that wouldn't I knew that you wouldn't let me down. Let me explain on how to reconfigure the data. Restoring the data is the only way to get through here. The data is saved in those blocks. Press the A button to remove data. You could switch the data with the data in another block, or insert the data into an empty block. But you can only move data only you can move data only a limited number of times. If you make more moves than allowed, you'll activate the security system, so be extra careful. Is everything clear? Now I'll tell you the correct order for this data. The data is ordered according to the number. The number for the data on the left is in days in the week. The middle is half of the months in the year, and the right is the number is the opposite five on a die. If you forget, just ask me again. Let's 
762. Thank you very much. The number opposite 5 on a die is 2. Did you know that opposite sides on a die always equal 7? That program sounds like a uh, Clubhouse Games trivia fact. I've been playing a lot of that lately, actually. I was playing that alongside Final Fantasy VII. Uh, it's pretty fun, and I've almost gotten all the medals in it. Super salty about Clubhouse games? Why? Ooh, fire hit! Nice, that's a good ship to get right now. I had one game where I was actually gonna probably... ...beat the impo- Oh god, fuck. Fuck Renegade's AI. Oh, I... Oh, and the phone is, nah, boy, just gonna softlock. The softlock? How the fuck did that happen? You mean, like, he tied, or he just did, never made a move? Thunder P. All right, that's still in this game, too. Hey, I just never took its turn. How long did you wait? I've had issues where the AI will take, like, ten minutes to make a turn. Can't you just pause and quit out if that happens? Hours, Jesus. Yeah, it's really weird. Sometimes the AI in that just like lo hangs for some reason. Um, if you want, if you want to make things easy, uh, hold on one second. I'll actually get the link for you. Give me one moment. Uh, where is it? Shogi. Worldwide 50 classic Shogi. I think that's the right. Yeah, it's this dude. Um, I'm going to link you to a YouTube channel. Chat. Uh, here, here. Uh, this guy, he is uploading videos of him doing every single difficulty of every game. For games like Chess and Renegade, it might take some backspacing to get the AI to do exactly what he does. But it is possible to actually just use his techniques and his plays to beat the AI. And honestly, that's the only way I was able to beat Renegade in impossible mode. Because that shit is just way too hard. Uh, oddly enough, that was like the only game I really had that much trouble in. Chess and Shogi, I was actually able to beat most of the uh, opponents without help. But uh, Renegade is just bullshit. Same with Gomoku. Gomoku is also bullshit. But yeah, that guy has uh, videos of every difficulty of every game, or he's working his way up to it. He hasn't uploaded all of them yet. But the, uh, the AI exploitative ones are very useful, because you could just copy his moves by, move by move, and uh, most of the time it should result in the same result. If the AI makes a separate move, uh, just undo it and try it again until the AI does the correct move. <clears throat> He's going second, yeah. Going second in a lot of those games makes it way easier, because then you have the ability to just counter off anything. Especially Renegade. Renegade is a game you never want to go first in if you know what you're doing. Same with Connect 4. Or, f or sorry, 4 in a row, as uh, Nintendo calls it. Play that a lot on your phone in high school, and you always went second. <laughs> I I just play it with my. Fr I used to have it. Uh, I have two versions of the game. I have the original, like old, like '70s release of the game, and then I have um, I have a small travel size version of it. Neither of which are necessary anymore because now I could just play it on the Switch if I want to. This data is a bit complicated, so pay attention, okay? The left letter completes the word in this coin word, Ickle. 
The middle letter completes this coin word. Kurter. The right letter completes this coin word. Any. Got it? P. Eichel. Nap, which is exactly what we're gonna take after we're done here. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, sorry about the weird noises. I've been very concerned with how bad my voice sounds lately. The fact that it's cracking so much. Um, I think this summer I'm going to finally invest in coaching and stuff to get my voice to sound better. Because I feel like I'm losing control of it. I feel like I- it, it's like, sh like I'm straining to talk normally. And it's- it's just mental conditioning. I talk too fast and that causes my voice to, uh, or my, uh, enunciation to get fucked up. Not only that, though, but I also don't take good care of my throat, so that's why my voice cracks a lot. Shit. Let your voice become Chaos Incarnate. I would love- I, I wouldn't mind doing that, it's just... I need to improve as a voice actor, I really do, because I am not... I'm not doing well. And I've kind of put it on the back burner, and I need to stop doing that, otherwise I'm never gonna make, like... You know, progress with it. Keep a water bottle filled with tea and a hint of honey and lemon. Oh, hey, Satine. Uh, I mean, I have a ton of water here, but, uh... I don't know if it's vocal strain or just bad, high, like, bad practice with it. Because the thing is... I don't really... I eat a lot of junk food, I drink a lot of crap. Ooh, HP memory, nice. I think that a lot of the reason it sounds messed up is because I don't... I have poor, like, I, I take poor care of my voice. Green tea and water is your lifeblood. It is very, uh, it is very good. Consider these four animals. Dog, cat, owl, rat. One does not belong. Even I don't know the answer. What a conundrum. I recommend Gollum Juice. The Gollum voice actor invented it. Um, you at least know that dairy is ass before recording, right? Yes. I know that. But the thing is, it's, it's not even the dairy. I think it's, I think it's, uh, maybe it is, I don't know. <laughs> it's just poor eating in general, and lack of vocal exercise. It's a lot of things. There's a thing called throat coat, which is a Chinese, uh... There was a voice crack right there. It's a Chinese, like, special kind of remedy that you could use. And it apparently works wonders, but it's expensive. This is the third of the three BN games you've played. Uh, it's one of the best. Two, three, and five are my favorites. Hola. Okay, I need data for an animal that could be found in tar. Do you think it's referring to the Labre tar pits? I don't know what to do. I can't figure this one out. I know what it is. So we have R-A-T over there, and what's that leave? O-W-L. Owl. The other two are three white and the GameCube platformer. Oh. Well, hey, I mean, you played two of the best. And the GameCube platformer is pretty good. I'll probably stream that at some point in the next year. Wait, what? I have three moves left. Two moves left. Yeah, before Battle Network 6, I want to stream uh, Network Transmission and also 4.5, because that got a fan translation. They gave Needleman.exe a Yakuza accent. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played that game. I forgot what the voice acting is like in it. Aside from Len. Chipugetto! Oh, wait, no, that's Mega Man. Ah! 
I see. And that will fly, but the others don't. You're a bright one. Of course, the letters for rat are in tar. Woot! A security door that looks hard to open. I used to have a copy of Program of Darkness built onto a data disk. Wait, Program of Darkness? Uh, the movie? Or, uh... No, I'm thinking of Phantom of Network. That's the mobile phone game. Click. Security door opened. I actually watched the movie a little while ago. Uh, it was alright. I forgot how much the, the anime series deviates from the, uh, the games. Gospel's just a robot in that game instead of a kid wearing a cyber suit. Wily becomes a hobo who has a missile launching, uh... A missile launching, uh, shopping cart. Mega Man, fix the main system. I need some help. Part of my... Part of my place database has been corrupted. What's this place starting with H? The ship's interior... The ship's interior corridor. Hull, probably. Or hold. I need some help. Part of my place database has been corrupted. And now I can't recall the place. This is describing. The place, period. This is describing. The platform for getting on and off ships. All I know is it starts with D. Back when I frequented forums, we had one infamous member who eventually IP banned because of his random near Wiseau level of oddity. His handle was Regal Sin. Why does that name sound familiar? I feel like I know that guy. Dr. Regal. Yeah, I know, but that name in sp sp that name specifically, I seem to remember. Uh, is it Hold? It is Hold. Wait, so what's this one then? A-L-C-K. Lack? No. Lock? No. Ship's Interior Corridor. Maybe it's Hall, then O-K-C-D. Doc, yeah. Love these games. So do I, Arkra. Thanks for coming, by the way. Again, uh, four? Just super useful. Or, uh, sorry, not f four fire hits. Super useful. Way better than energy bombs. I had to come check on a fellow burb. Oh, thank you. I don't stream this early, often. Hall and Doc, yeah, that was it. Oh, thanks, Izzy. Always appreciate it. Uh, what do I have now? H? Hall. Fingers crossed for the BN collection soon. Yes. Please, Capcom. That said, um, even if the BN collection comes out, I'm not going to be streaming Battle Network 6. Oh, you subbed the button. You subbed. Did you give sub? Hey, Mike, got a scoot. Thank you for the dank stream. Hey, anytime. Thank you. It doesn't show- it's not showing up on my thing. Got an emo- oh yeah, it looks like- put him in. <laughs> Thanks, Izzy, I appreciate that. Rome Mithril is well known for uploading Let's Play plays of Mega Man games, except for the X-Series. Took him over two years to complete every potential path of BN4. Um... Yeah, BN4 is a beast. Mega Quint. Can you say Wagga- Wagga Bobo? Like I he like hearing how people pronounce it. I like hearing how Wagga Bagga Bobo. Okay. Sure, why not? Lime's music, UN cheers. Wait, what? Okay, do it. Yeah, but like I said, even if Battle Network Collection happens, which 
I imagine they'll have to edit some graphics because there's very blatant GameCubes and uh, GBAs everywhere. Um, my only thing is that I'm probably not going to stream Battle Network 6 from it just because the fan, the translation patch for Battle Network 6 that Team BN put out has everything from the English version plus all the cut content from the Japanese version translated into English. So I'd rather play that because it's going to have more to do, including stuff I've actually never done before. The hall? Thanks, now I can repair my place database. A dock? Thanks, now I can repair my place database. Up oh, there's the cactus boys. Why did I only pick that? But yeah, Battle Network 6, the English version, has a lot of content removed from it. Uh, partially due to the whole Boktai 3 not coming out in America thing. Which, by the way, that's going to be a game I stream next month, because uh, it's 15th anniversary is coming up. Killerman.exe, yeah. Erase... D sorry, don't you mean Erase Man? You're not going to be seeing him because I'm playing Falzar, not uh, Gregor, for obvious reasons. Swallowman.exe. Swallowman is this game, and it's called Larkman in the English version. Only played Falzar, yeah. Same. Slash cross though. Well, that name change stands to reason though. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's still not as bad. Oh, nice! I got the cact ball. Uh, Voltanic man, which is the weirdest change to me. Um. So in the uh, in the DS version, in the DS version of this game, with all the voice clips, there's actually. Uh, a voice clip for Voltaic Man or Voltanic Man and that's a that character's never shown up in any game it's literally a, a Navi that was supposed to apparently be exclusive to the DS version and they just never actually implemented him it's like let's do it Voltanic Man or Voltan yeah I don't know even if I knew the answer I'd rather see you struggle but I'll give you a hint are you ready a mother had one, but child. A mother had one child, but ten of these were born. Well, any idea? Wait, what? A mother had one child, but ten of these were born. Do you have any idea what it is? Two of them are bigger than the other eight. Oh, toe. Okay. Napalm makes more sense than Multanic. Yeah. Multanic man was only in the uh, in the anime. That's what you're. That's what you're getting at. I now I remember. Multanic man was in the anime. Voltaic man is from the DS version of this and never got used. Uh, Fla Fire Man was called Torch Man in the anime. Uh, Flame Man was Flam Man in the, uh, in the game. It, it, Yamato Man was Japan Man, which is the worst change ever. For the beasts themselves, Falzar was better, th better than the Gregar, but Gregar version definitely has better, better crosses. Uh, yeah, you know what, I'm not gonna disagree with it. That's famous. Hold on one second, I have to, uh... Just adjust myself here. I've been sitting here for two hours now. A body part that goes with fire, band, and over. Firearm, band, arm, wait, arm, band, and over arm, I guess. Does that give you any ideas? I haven't a clue myself. Somebody hurry and help. HRT, hey, that's a good, that's a very good password. Is this Number Man's dungeon? Uh, no. What part of your body can you hop, make hop, sorry, what part of your body can you hop with to make music? That's the clue, but I can't make head nor tail of it. Why can't the answer just be straightforward? Must be security, I guess. Eep. Iom. And HRT. Arm. So we need A for this one. The 
This is probably Toe over here. So what's this one? I have H. So wait, what? Let's let's narrow it down here. Let's let's break it down. Iom. All right. So it's gonna be arm. So we got a, an M there. Toe, T O and E. So we have an I. I, oh hip. Okay. Got it. I know words. I, I'm a communications major. That's what I studied. I get it. Hip and hop together to make hip hop. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that he was referring to the genre. I thought he meant what part of your body can you literally hop to make music. That's right, the answer's toe. You're pretty good. Oh, the answer's arm. That one really had me stumped. Excuse me. I'm getting hungry. Probably streaming for another hour and a half. And then I'll make myself a nice big plate of chili, bowl of chili, while watching uh, Paranoia Agent. Because that anime, mmm, top notch. Speaking of anime, uh, I am probably in the next year or so going to completely rewatch Yu Yu Hakusho. Because uh, that anime is great, and it's time for my decadely rewatch of it. You ordered a 24 pack of crystals with cheese. When I eventually go to MFF, I need to, uh, try Crystals. Isn't that one of those five million episode anime? Don't know, Paranoia Agent or Yu Hakusho? Uh, Yu Hakusho is, I think, is 128 episodes. 138, around that point. Maybe it's 122, yeah. It, it's 122 episodes. It's actually very succinct. It's very to the point, and I like that. Um, it also is one of the few animes to have a good tournament arc in it. Um, if you were talking about Paranoia Agent, though, no, that's only, like, 12 episodes. Oh, it counts vertical distance with that, too. Funny, I cite 200 episodes since I was thinking of Sailor Moon and their creators got married. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Um... I know that the guy who, do, who made Yu Hakusho also made Hunter x Hunter, which is another incredible anime for, for different reasons. It's both ridiculous and also, at times, incredibly sobering. The Chimera Ant arc of, of uh, Hunter x Hunter. Hunter x Hunter is like a refined version of Yu Hakusho, but Gon, Gon is a psychopath. Uh, I wouldn't call him a psychopath. He's a super caring kid, honestly. Spreader E. Nice. First one of those. Hunter Hunter is good. If only the manga was... Manga. Wow. I can't believe I did that. If only the manga wasn't in eternal hiatus mode. Yeah. Did your charge shot already do 20 damage? No. Um... This chip I have, uh, when I use it, it gives me plus one to my attack, so regular shots will do two, and then charge will do 20. I don't have the Navi customizer yet. <gasps> oh, i already been over there. But yeah, Hunter Hunter, uh, the Chimera Ant arc is one of the longest slogs I've ever seen in an anime. 
it takes an extremely long time to get going in that and get to the end and get to the good parts. But, man, when you hit the end of that arc, you feel like absolute shit. And not in like a and not in like a tearjerker way. It just goes out of its way to really like drill in the fact that wow, humanity is not very good at times. There are some we do some shitty things in the name of uh, you know freedom and security and safety. Without spoiling it, I'll say that the concept of pretty much nuclear arms comes up. And I'm not talking about the next character that's being announced for Smash Brothers. But I will be playing as them when they come out, hopefully on Monday. Oh, recover 30, nice. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. What am I to do? Right, that's one water bottle down. Thankfully, since I started, uh, since I went and cleaned out my office, since we're, again, we're not renewing the lease on our office, so we're just becoming a work-from-home company for a few months. Uh, not that we were probably going back to the office anytime soon anyway, even if we renewed it. Uh, I got my water bottle from there, so now I just have two water bottles. So I have two supplies of water to get to me through streams now. What's wrong? I can hardly bear to say. I was told to come and reorder the data, but the data order has escaped my memory bank. I tried to contact the person who asked me, but he's not answering my pages. Now I just don't know what to do. Oh my, my oh my, what am I to do? He's right, Lan. What should we do? We can't proceed. Leave it to me. I'll find the person who gave the order. Lan, are you forgetting? No, one at, no one's at Scilab right now. Shoot, you're right. Wait. The person who gave the order, he's a meticulous note-taker. Perhaps he has written it down somewhere? He's a subordinate of Dr. Hikari. There may be a note where Dr. Hikari might go. You get that, Lan? Sure did. I'll have your memo in no time. Sit tight, Mega Man. Thanks, Lan. Whew. There's something under the sofa. Lan got work memo. There it is. I found it, Mega Man. The data order is 53214. Roger. Thanks, Lan. Now come back here and operate, please. If you forget the order of the memo, view it under key item on the PET screen. So we can actually give use to that stupid option. Roger. Here I come, Mega Man. I already forgot it. 53214. Popey the Performer. I've never heard that one. Now the data has been fully restored. Thank you so much. Land the control panel for the main system is this way. And I think the infiltrator will be there too. Be careful, Mega Man. I will. Here goes nothing. Nobody home? You don't know what kind of enemy you're up against. Don't let your guard down, Mega Man. Okay. <clears throat> nice work, Mega Man. You too, Lan. Who's that? Show yourself! What power?
Who are you? I am Colonel. So, Mega Man, are you as skilled as they say? How do you know my name? Get ready. Here he comes, Lan. Battle routine set. Execute. I'll delete you. <sighs> wow, that was terrible. I, I, he has a, I think he has like kind of a semi-Irish accent in the uh, DS version. But I keep wanting to default to like X4 Colonel. Also, it's funny because I played X4 right before this game was announced. And it blew my mind because I was like, oh shit, the, the character in the game I just played is getting a Battle Network version of himself. That's so cool. I'll delete you. It's an unvoiced CGI thing that looks more like a crusty clayish CGI of the 90s. Interesting. Never heard of it. It was like a two-person work. Ow. So obviously first boss, not gonna be that hard. What? Why'd it hit a square away from him? Really bad at dodging that, huh? <sighs> Colonel, what do you want? Colonel, what do you want? Mega Man, you have passed. Passed? What's going on? And where's the Navi that infiltrated Psylab? It's funny because in Team Proto Man, you do indeed fight Proto Man here. And Mega Man's just very confused. And also, Mega Man's, uh, Proto Man's piss easy, which is very unlike him. <laughs> Let's talk more. Jack out and go to the innermost room. Colonel! Colonel. What in blazes is going on here? I guess we should find out. Lan, jack me out. Zoop. Let's go to the room behind the op room. Come this way. I will not harm you. Who are you? My name is Beryl. You could trust me. Well, at least try to trust me. Beryl? The Navi that broke into the main system, was that? Looks like you're a bit confused. Let me explain just what's going on. You know what's happening on the net, right? Yeah? In response, we're forming a team of net navvies to defeat the evil organization that's occupying the net and free cyberspace from its grasp. However, we could hardly advertise the team to the public. Instead, we're recruiting members in its secret. So you mean, this whole thing was just... That's right. The infiltration of the main system was a test to determine whether you were fit for the team. A test? Correct. And... You've passed. Len, Mega Man, join our team. What? Er, this is all so sudden. I... I... You don't want to save your father? Dad? Do, do you know what's happened to my dad? Lin, I'll say it again. Join our team. Together we can defeat Nebula, the Dark Chip Syndicate, which kidnapped your father. Nebula? So the person who kidnapped Dad is... Dr. Regal, the mad scientist and leader of Nebula. With him involved, you could, be at a nasty, you could bet a nasty plot is brewing. I I'm in. I'll join the team. Lin already knew Nebula was behind it, though. He said it before when, uh... He was at the, de he was at the door... <laughs> That door on the, on the, in the uh, internet. I'll make sure my dad is safe. Good. Then it's settled. 
From this moment on, you are officially a member of Colonel's Anti-Nebula Corps. But there is a little time, there is little time for formalities. You will join a liberation mission tomorrow. Liberation mission? Yes, we must liberate an area held by Nebula. Free it from its suffocating grasp. Tomorrow, we're liberating ACDC Area 3. Got it? Okay. I'll contact you tomorrow with the mission time. Understood. And Lan, the team is top secret. Understand? Nod. <laughs> Very well. You are excused. Beryl? Yes, what is it? Think... Think my dad's okay? That is undetermined. The only thing we know is that defeating Nebula is the one chance we have at saving me. Saving me? Why saving you? You mean saving him. You understand? Yeah. Mega Man, let's head home. An evacuation drill really caught me off guard, but I suppose it helps to keep us on our toes. They told us to evacuate as a practice drill. It was so sudden I didn't know what was happening. desk of Scilab's head. One seated here who has great influence over Scilab. Gigantic screen is awe-inspiring. It's often used to give orders. I'll contact you about the mission tomorrow. Go home and rest up for today. The monitor displays the current tactical situation. A tactical planning computer. It can simulate countless simulation situations for the best result. It's locked against jacking in right now. Guess things have calmed down. Turns out, it was no big problem after all. Whew! Let's go home, Lan. See, it wasn't dangerous. It was fine the whole time. Whoops. You must be tired. Want to sleep? ACDC, uh, Battle Network 1 and 3 are the only games that have ACDC shown at night time. Never shows up again after that. Alright, let me unlock a uh, Mail's terminal while I'm here. I hope they find out something about Lan's dad soon. Who's Lan? Lan's just like, who is that? I've never heard of this Lan person. No banners in this game, right? To warp to other pages and stuff. I know it's in, uh, 4 and 6. But I don't think it's in this game. time already? Want to save what happened today? Can I overwrite the previous data? Okay, all saved. Good night, Lan. I have to remember to uh, save manually in this game. After playing FF7 and not saving the entire game, except for the end of stream. Uh, I'm not used to saving every so often. And I paid for it because then the game softlocked for me when I was in the air vent. God damn it. The next day... Wow, today we fight Nebula. Hope I can handle it. I wonder why he hasn't contacted me yet. Lan, it's your phone. Lan, the ACDC Area 3 Liberation Mission begins now. You must free the area from Nebula's grip. This time you're in charge of Navi Operation. Navi Operation? Barrel, you're not going to fight with me? 
Nebula has blocked standard access to the area slated for liberation. Only one person can operate navvies in an occupied area. I would operate them myself, but I have to command officials at the national level. Wait, you mean I have to complete this mission alone? That is correct. I've also sent Colonel into ACDC Area 2. Colonel will guide you on the mission. So you mean I'll be operating Colonel as well? That's right. But I'm not even sure if I can handle that. I... If you're having second thoughts, get off the team now. We have no time for cowardice. I thought you wanted to save your father. And Lan. I know that not just anybody can handle Colonel. But you defeated the mad scientist Wily and his World 3. Destroyed the Net Mafia Gospel. And defeated Regal once before. With your background, I know you can handle Colonel. I like how they finally acknowledge all that, but like, nothing ever comes of it. Farrell. Maybe you're right. I'll... I'll do it. I'll save Dad myself. That's the spirit. It's almost time. Jack in and head to ACDC area too. Roger. Len. There's no room for mistakes. Rest assured. That's the spirit. I wish you success. Bweep. Bweep. Ready, Mega Man? Yeah, let's go, Lan. First, let's find Colonel in ACDC 2. Jack in. Mega Man, execute. Lan, you have mail. Sorry, I'm, I'm really tired. I need to take a short breather here. Also getting really hungry. <laughs> Be careful. News mill. As you know, a certain criminal uh, as you know, a criminal group called Nebula has launched an invasion on the net. As a result, security has been tightened all across the gro all across the globe. Jesus. Security is at its absolute tightest in End City, which is the center of the network. For your own safety, please stay off the net for now. No porn. Navi's here now. So, something I didn't mention, this game, like Battle Network 4, has a very unique way of handling enemy upgrades. In Battle Network 4, it was like every time you cycle through the game, they'd get a level stronger until the third cycle where they're at the strongest, and then the second and first levels are just found in random, like, PCs and stuff across the uh, game. Uh, it works a little differently in this game. That said, for the entirety of the main story, you're going to only see level 1 viruses. Level 2s and 3s do not show up until post-game, because the way you unlock them is very interesting and unique. Shh, don't talk to me, you'll blow my cover. Battle Network 6 goes back to the traditional, like, enemies just get stronger as you go through the game, like it was in 1 through 3. I 
I don't like the looks of this, but I can't just close up shop. I'm a net dealer. Want to see my stuff? Uh, get spreader or go for HP memory. And we'll go for the HP memory. Spreader's not that useful. Did I get to that, Navi? Wait a minute. Oh, there's another warp point over there. I never noticed that. Nice. Got most of my money back already. A huge door bars the way. Alright, this is... Some people don't like this. This is one of my favorite mechanics that ever shows up in a Battle Network game. There you are. This mission will be, this mission will be carried out by the two of us. We'll be liberating ACDC Area 3, which lies past here. Roger. Len, you tuned in? Yeah. Just like Barrow told you on the phone, the success of this mission depends on your operation. I'm in your hands. No probs. Leave it to me. Let's get this party started. Well, it sounds like you're ready. I'll show you how to proceed on this liberation mission. You'll learn the ropes after a couple of battles. Roger. Let's go, Mega Man. But how can I open that door? Colonel just slices it down. Like this. Now go. Talk about slice and dice. God damn it. Lynn, is it time for a liberation mission? You can't edit folders on the mission. Still okay? Roger. We'll go whenever you're ready. Okay, Lynn. Then let's go. Fucking love these. These are so fun. And this came out the same time Fire Emblem Sacred Stones did, so I was like, oh, cool. Strategy elements. Let's begin a liberation mission. This area is controlled by Blizzard Man. Defeating him will free the area, but take a look. That's a dark panel. It's tainted by dark power. You must liberate those panels to get to Blizzard Man. Liberate? Stand by a panel and press A button. A Excuse me. Stand by a panel and press A button. Select the command Liberation. A virus will pop out from under the panel. Deleting these viruses is called liberation. So I've got to delete the viruses as I move ahead. Each Navi also has its own unique liberate command. Screen divide for me, long sword for you. These let you liberate a big area all at once. Take a look at the gauge in the upper right. These are order points. You use one point every time you use your special command. Some dark panels contain order points, so you'll be able to replenish them along the way. I'll go and give this liberation thing a try. Alright, good luck. Len, you're the operator, so stay sharp. Leave it to me. Press R button if you want to operate a different Navi. Except for Mega Man, each Navi lets you use their special chip just once on the custom screen. My special chip is C-Cannon. Sorry, C-Cannon. C-Cannon. Press L button to check the area map. Press start if you want to cancel the mission. Roger. One more thing. Yes? Don't liberate if you're in a situation like this. Why? What's the difference? The more dark panels surrounding a Navi, the harder the battle becomes. Get it? I recommend starting this battle from the lower right. Gotcha. Understood. Ready, Mega Man? You got it. 
Your mission is to liberate within seven phases. If you manage to pull it off, an official will give you a rare chip as a reward. Good luck. Alright, ready for some hype as fuck music? Love this song so much. Yeah, that's the map. So we're gonna get more tutorials as this area goes on, but... There's monsters, dark holes, items... Special panels... These with the squares on them can't be traversed over until you've, uh, destroyed enough of the other things. Uh, Colonel can save. I don't believe Mega Man can. No, he can't. Best track, maybe second to the boss theme, yeah. Yeah, Colonel can save, but only once per turn, so you have to use it strategically, especially later. Uh, so... Actually, it's probably not a good idea. Hold on, Lan. Yeah, it is- it has to be good, you're gonna hear a lot of it. Yes? Liberation battles are a bit different from virus busting. You have to beat all of the viruses within three turns. Really? When the custom gauge is maxed, the custom screen opens automatically. Also, if you could delete all viruses within one turn, you will liberate all the panels around you. Alright, I understood. Alright. Understood. I've got one more tip. It may help you if you get into a tight situation. If you happen to be caught between enemies, use the L and R buttons to switch your navvy's direction. So the L and R function changes on the custom screen. I'm counting on you, Lan Hikari. So yeah, uh, depending on how many spaces of like inf of dark power there is around you, the battlefield will be different. If you have the advantage, you get four rows. If you have it normal, you get three, like normal. If you have disadvantage, you get two rows while the enemy gets four. And if, you ha if you're surrounded, then what happens is you get the two rows in the middle, and the enemy gets the two rows on the end, and the two rows on the other end. And in that situation, you press L and R to switch direction. My friend actually was upset because... They didn't take this opportunity to have Gemini Man in the game by having him be on both sides of the arena, which would have been really cool. I would have loved if they did that. So anyway, uh, one turn liberation probably not happening for this for this fight. We liberated it! You're getting the hang of it. Let me tell you about Dark Holes next. Dark Holes? Take a look over there. That's a Dark Hole. You have to delete them before you can fight the Dark Lloyds. What? The phrase Dark Lloyds has never, has never come up before. That's a Guardian of a Dark Hole. Guess I'd better liberate Dark Holes right away. Guardians will attack closer enemies first. They're pretty nasty opponents. Either try to take them out before the Dark Lord's attack phase, or try to liberate the Dark Holes in one shot. Okay, let me give it my best shot. Let's do it! Liberate panels! This is not the time to run away. Three square blast of hits end row. So yeah, you get to control other navvies. First time in the series. I mean, not counting 4.5. I think like 4.5 was kind of the lead up to this. I didn't notice the bird emote till now. Which one? Oh, the... Oh, that one. Yeah, I didn't know... What is that one? Cry Toucan. Oh, nice. Yeah, I liberated it. I found some zennies. 
Dark Lloyd phase. I'll turn this area into a nebulous ski resort. Got it? Player phase, O2. Let's do it. Liberate panels. Alright, I gotta stop saying that. Big Brute. That's me. I'm a big brute. You get a little extra little jingle. Gah! So yeah, one turn liberation uh, gets everything around you, including diagonally. Great job. One turn liberation. I found order points. The order points are covered. I don't know how screen divide works. So Dark Holes also have that enemy, but they also have more enemies. Yeah. And you have to destroy them. You have to destroy all the Dark Holes. Gotta eat the lettuce. But yeah, in the, uh, in the DS version, Colonel in this version, and uh, Proto Man in his, his version have voices, as well as Lan and uh, Mega Man. Also, yeah, even if you don't one-turn liberate the uh, Dark Holes, they clear out any panels around it as well. Longsword! So you get both of these in one shot. Use Longsword. Okay, Mega Man, we're using order points. Roger. Long sword. So it really doesn't matter if I one turn this or not. It only really becomes a thing later. Because in later missions, it's way harder to clear onto the target without one turning. Nice job, you seem to be getting it. I sure am. If a Navi's HP is too low, choose pass. You'll skip a turn, but also regain some HP. That makes sense. I'll do it. Huh? Hey, Colonel. What's that question mark panel? I'm not sure exactly, but I suspect it triggers an event. Or it might give you some extra HP or a chip. I see. Guess I'd better liberate those too. You got it. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. It's all up to you. Roger. Got a heart. Oh, screen divide just goes, it's the same as uh, Proto Man's in his version, just goes all three panels. Use screen divide to liberate. Okay, Colonel, we're using order points. Let's do it. Screen divide. can full synchro with other navvies. If they if you stand next to one of these enemies when it's their turn, they can just hit you and do damage. It's not a battle. So also this does not count as a uh, turn. A bonus panel.
one phase invincibility. Team becomes invincible for one phase. Let's do it. Liberate panels. I think I might have a disadvantage here. Yep. Two, two panel disadvantage. major disadvantage here, so you're going to see the split screen now, or the split battlefield. Surrounded. Press LR to bu press the LR button to look around, or to turn around. Problem is, I think they generate a new one if you killed. Yeah, a new one generates and then shows up. Yeah, I liberated it. And they disappear. No more dark holes. Nothing will save the dark voids now. Order points. Make sure I have enough playing field here. in my deep winter snowball ow I didn't think you would make it this far whoosh blizzard man leave this area I'll freeze you to the bone this is it land get ready to battle let's do it Yes, the three turn limit is still imposed in this. Time up. Liberate failed. Whoosh, that was close, but I'm not that easy. 
But yeah, uh, unless their turn comes up again, they don't refill that HP. So, they only have 94 HP. <laughs> I can't believe it! I can't lose! No! Yeah, one turn liberation. Suck. Sess. Target, seven phases. Actual, six phases. Good job. Here's a special award from the officials. Got a battle chip for Blizz, man. Thought you get all the items on the field that you didn't get to it. Liberation complete. ACDC area is now safe. Yup. But ACDC area is hardly the only place occupied. We've only freed one part of the nebula controlled net. Now get the good versions. <laughs> Our battle has only just begun. Right. I'll contact you as soon as the next mission is planned. Until then, keep sharp. Let's jack out, Lan. Roger. Nice work, Mega Man. So, they've put the official hounds on the hunt. Little do they know that the net occupation is just one piece of the grand plan. Just try and stop me. <laughs> Master Regal, preparations are complete. Very well, I'll be right there. Please excuse me. It's all going according to plan. Several days passed since Nebula claimed the net. In this age, the net represents the seams of cyber society, and its occupation was a very real threat. First our PETs were stolen, then a few days later the net gets occupied, school gets cancelled, School gets cancelled. Yeah, there's nothing to do anymore. I can't believe I can't do anything to help Roll. The more I think about it, the more worried I get. I wonder if Roll is alright. Poor Mail. He'll be okay, Mail. Gutsman is there. He'll protect Roll for you. Yeah, and Glide is with her too. Yeah, I... I guess you're right. How about we go somewhere to get our minds off this? Hey, that sounds like fun. But I only have my sub-PET, so let's go somewhere unrelated to Cyberworld. Good idea. Let's go swim in the ocean. I know a deserted island. We could go splash up a storm all by ourselves. Sound like fun, Mel? Yeah. Lan, you'll come too, right? We're depending on you and Mega Man if something happens. Of course. Leave it to me. Great. Then it's on. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. Let's get going. What? We're going right now? That's right we are. It's not like we have anything to do here in town. Well, that's true, but... Okay, everybody. Go back to your homes, and once you're ready, meet in... Once you're ready? Sorry? What, who? Once my ready what? Meet in front of the station, and step on it. Yeah, I'll be ready in a flash. Yeah, I guess I'll go get ready, too. M Mel. Mel, try to cheer up, okay? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I must be worried about Glide and Dex about Guts, man. But they're really trying to keep their spirits up. I've got to do my part and try harder. Right, Lan? Yeah. Lan, you better get ready quick, too. You better get you Land, you better get ready quick too, or Yai will get upset. Haha. <laughs> too true. See you in a bit. Okay.
This is a tough time for everybody. You could say that again, Lan. They lost their PETs, and I have Dad to worry about. Mega Man, we've got to get Nebula. To save Dad and get everybody's PETs back, we could do it, Lan. Lan, it's your phone. I'll get it. It's me. Good work on the last Liberation mission. What's up, Barrel? Another mission? No, not a regular mission. ACDC area was freed from Nebula's grasp, allowing private navvies to visit the area at will. Patrol ACDC area and make sure all Nebula agents are gone. A patrol? Okay, leave it to me. Also, res we're restoring the network deep inside ACDC Area 3. I want you to report on the status of the project. Talk to the programs working on the restoration to determine their progress of the task. Roger, I'll leave right away. I'm in your hands. Okay, Mega Man, let's go to ACDC area. Roger. Len, you have mail. What shall I make for supper today? It isn't easy coming up with new dishes each day, you know. The least people could do is finish every bite. Dark chips. Let me tell you about dark chips. Dark chips can make your navy very strong. Dark chips, good job me. But they also permanently reduce your max HP. If you cannot continue to if you continue to use dark chips, they will slowly begin to poison your body and soul. Eventually you will become controlled by the dark soul. If you happen to encounter anyone selling these chips, ignore them. Remember, never buy dark chips. Never you say. You're going to the ocean? Sounds like fun. I'd like to go, but I have a piano lesson. Yep, this was Dark Souls before Dark Souls. Let's see, what should I bring to the beach? Then you have to hurry and get ready. Ow. Oh man, where is he hiding? Let's see. Yeah, well, don't surprise me like that, Lan. You'll make me lose at hide and seek. What do you say? I'm so loud I'll give myself away? Shoot, you're right. Now that ACDC area has been liberated, we can access it again. The next area beyond it is under construction. It'll open the path soon enough, I suppose. I've got to feed my goldfish before I leave. Shoot, where did I put my swimming shorts? You're going to the ocean? Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. You're free to go. Just gives zero fucks that her husband is kidnapped. Welcome, this is ACDC Area 1. Okay, yeah, they're not saying anything differently now. When you're standing here at the net abyss, don't you begin to see the unseen? No? Well, maybe it's over your head. door bars the way. It won't open. Alright, I have to look for Nebula agents. Oh, but I have to check ACDC Area 3, I guess. Running is way better in this game. Apparently there's a glitch with how running works in Battle Network 6. I remember watching a speedrun a few weeks ago on Games Done Quick, and it's apparently there's like an, a weird glitch where your run rate can just become zero for like ten turns, and you just can't run. It, it, it apparently fucking sucks. I heard there was some kind of scene and came right away, but I missed the mayhem. Ah, oh, fooey. 
Ice Store and recreate battles fought in this area. Would you like to revive a battle between Nebula and a certain Navi team? I see. So yeah, you could you could just uh you could just redo the liberation battles for better rewards. Welcome to ACDC Area 3. We don't get many visitors. They're worried about the effects of the dark panels? I do wish more people would come. Yeah, we got some weird battlefields in here. Bottlenecks. This. this is going to make it a little difficult. Once I do this, it makes it pretty easy actually. Yeah, those mystery datas have 1 HP if they get hit by anything. Oh nice, I got a wind chip. Cool. A chunk of money. If those mystery datas get hit by anything, they they break. Kinda sucks. Furnace comp. Oh yeah, this is the thing attached to Yai's room. You need to turn this on, otherwise the portal's not usable. Oh, oh, there's EX cannons. Okay, so... There's actually six... There's six variants of enemies in this game. There's the level 1, the level 2, level 3, and then each level also has the EX version of it. Uh, you cannot get a better chip off of them, unfortunately, so there's really not a whole lot of point to fighting them. They're just there to be an extra challenge at times. Also, that one actually closes its gate whenever it's not being attacked. Like, look, it actually uh, closes up. Unlike the other ones, which just stay open. This is the furnace comp at Miss Yai's house, but it's more than a heater, it's a super system that both heats and cools. Shall I heat you up or cool you down?
Sorry, I'm getting pretty tired. I'm only gonna stream for like another 30, 40 minutes or so. I'm actually not gonna stream tomorrow since I've streamed every day in the pa for the past week. In fact, between last Sunday and now... Well, actually, because Sunday was multiple streams. So there were three streams last two Sundays ago, and then Wednesday, Thursday. So that's five. Then three more last Sunday. And then one every day since then, so that's another six. So that's eight plus six, so that's fourteen streams and fourteen- that evens out to one stream per day. I've streamed essentially every single day for the last two weeks. And I, uh, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna need to take tomorrow off. Streams in general might be winding down a little bit. They might not be as common as they were before, though I still want to keep to at least, like, two to three a week. The big reason is that I'm probably not gonna be able to stream on weekends anymore. Well, not anymore, but I know, like, next weekend I'm gonna be doing something again now, finally. So, won't be here. Hello there. Are you the Mr. Prog that's here to restore the network? Correct. Is the job coming along smoothly? As smooth as freshly defragged- as smooth as a freshly defragged hard drive. Going well, but not fully restored at this time. I see. Glad to hear it's going well. Okay, let's contact Beryl. Right, I'll call Beryl. It's me. Beryl? It's me. I've checked the net. I didn't see any nebula agents, and the ACDC Area 3 network restoration is going along smoothly. I see. Very well. You may return. Good work. Well, that finishes my report. Time to get ready to swim. Yeah, we wouldn't want to make them wait. Let's do it. Mom, where's my swimming suit? In the second drawer, honey. Mega Man, where are my goggles? In the closet. Shoot, I'm running late. Let's get a move on, Mega Man. You have mail, Lan. Lan, I want you to take the- and I'm just gonna not for emails. I can't do anything with Gutsman gone, but you still have Mega Man. If these can help, take them. Dex code. It's literally just his PC code. Leaving already? Enjoy yourselves. Let's meet in front of the station. Just unlock Dex's thing yet. I don't really see the point of unlocking their PCs because they're all in the same area. Oh, there are banners. Do you want banner banners? God damn it! There are banners. Do you want to link this web page with lands? Then you can come and go directly between his page and Dex's. Shall I link them? You'll really link pages with us? Here, take this. Use this banner to come here. Okay, I'll place a link. Heave ho! What if the other pitch, uh, pages can now be linked to? Yeah, associates with a lot of people. This BBS is always packed. Neb, you, la. I haven't seen Mumu since that last post. Could something have happened? Surely he didn't join Nebula. Why would an organization want to take over the net? Wonder who's behind the Nebula group. How vicious, like an internet hijacking. ACDC area is free. Now we can roam the net without fear. Can you believe how much we're affected when the net's down? It really shows how much we depend on our navvies. Makes you want to take real good care of mine. Belts is right. We expect a lot from our navvies, but we tend to take them for granted. We should treat them with the respect they deserve. The other day I installed extra and the other day I installed X folder in my extra folder. 
now I'm using Mr. Famous Wannabes folder. Does that make me a wannabe wannabe? But I can't edit my extra folder. Wonder why. Hey, this is Koetsu. Today, let's learn about folders. You can add three folders to progress PETs. Folder 1, Folder 2, and Extra Folder. You can edit Folder 1 and 2 yourself, but you can't edit Extra Folder. But don't worry, you can install people's folders into Extra Folder. It can be fun to battle with other people's folders. Oops. Wow, Evo ever wanted to get better- ever wanted to get a better view of the field? Like when you're on the battle with the custom screen on? Well, you could shoot, close this custom screen by pressing select. Press select again to open the custom screen. This way you won't miss a thing in battle. Oh shit, Tapo's here. The, the god in training from Universe 6. Some people are just so long-winded, you know what I mean? Not Universe 6, Universe 2. What was it? 4. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've watched Dragon Ball Super. If you ever meet somebody like that, just press the B button. That'll teach their mo those motor mouths to mince their words. Some people are just so long-winded, you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Have I got some advice for you? Press select during an event to skip past it. But be careful not to skip past anything important. Sorry, guys. Ahem, Lan. I've told you before not to make a lady wait. I'm sorry, really. I didn't mean it. Well, okay. I'll let you off this time. So where are we going? Right, I was wondering the same thing. Yeah, where to, Yai? Today we're heading to the deserted island of Orin. A long time ago, Orin Isle prospered as a source of coal, but with the demand for coal gone, the mines closed and the island became deserted. With nobody to bother us, we can have all the fun we ever wanted. A deserted island? That sounds like a real adventure! Time to cast sail. Hooray! Two hours from ACDC Town, Len and friends arrived at the tiny island of Orin in the Pacific Ocean. We're here! Wow, time to go crazy! Shoot, Dex, not just yet. Also, it's funny that the Pacific Ocean's a thing when all the continents in this, in this game are fake. That one sounds funny. Uh, that's the... It's because he's voiced by Eddie from Ed and Eddie in the anime, so that's the voice I give him. Welcome to Orin Isle. Wow, it's beautiful. The waters are clear and the air is crisp. <laughs> what did I tell ya? And we're not the and we're the only ones here. So all of this bounty is ours for the pickin'. Look over there, the beach! Some beach, all right. Yahoo! Let's take a dip. Len, I bet I could swim faster than you. I bet you can't. Okay, last one to hit the beach is a rotten egg. Hey, no fair, Dex. Mill, yai, let's go. My boys are never boys never stop goofing off, do they? You go ahead by yourself. We'll catch up to you after we change on the ship. Now go have your silly little race. 
There's nothing silly about it. Sure, sure. Better run along. Dex is waiting. Mail, let's go inside the ship. Okay. Lan, what are you standing there for? Can't stand apart from beautiful ladies like us. What? Are you kidding? See you guys later, then. <laughs> let's go, Mail. Lush green bamboo. Bamboo is a mystical plant that flowers only once every several decades or so. I like how there's clearly water back there, but then there's just a line of trees going off into the distance. Land, where are you going? A fence blocks the way. A low tree stands away from the rest. It's a rather lonely sight. Dried out old tree about to fall over. It will eventually decay and fertilize the soil. Is this some kind of speaker? Dried out grass has been gathered into a pile. Yippee! Can you feel this wind? Land, my man! Over here! I'm gonna move on! Gotcha, Dex. Coming your way. Where's Yai and Mail? They're changing on the ship. Let's suit up and start swimming. Let's see. Where's a good place to change? <laughs> I know just the thing for changing into a suit. Oh no, you can't possibly. Yup. The forbidden art of suit changing. Houdini of the beach. Lynn, what's he talking about? Houdini? It's a forbidden art passed down from father to son. Remove pants, then your suit over your underpants. Then wear your suit over your underpants. Then remove the underpants from your uh, from under. Then remove underpants out from under suit. This way, you could change into your suit without once getting naked. Or what exactly makes that a forbidden art? Allow me to explain. On the one hand, you could safely change into your suit. But not without paying a dear price. When you remove your suit from beneath your underpants, you're forced to stretch your underpants out and pull them out each leg one at a time. Now take it from me, that could be a lot of stretching. More stretching, in fact, than most, than most underpants can handle. And with each you see your underpants take a beating. Before you knew it, you know it, you've overworked them. And we'll let our terrible sound to rip in two. What's worse? Oh, I can't bear to say it. Ah, what it, Dex? What are you two babbling about? Just a little duck floaty. Ta-da! Okay, guys, we're going to have a swimming race. So hurry up and get changed. Ah, uh, you came back to underwear, ripping. Land, Dex, we're going to get in the water. Dex, let's get changed. Yeah, time for Houdini of the Beach! Ugh! Yeah, I said we're gonna have a swimming race, didn't she? Yeah, she did. Hey, what's that? Wow, Yai, awesome! How's this, guys? My very own jet-powered inner tube. Hey, hit the watermelon, not me! Go, Yai, go! Right, left! Let him have it, Yai! I'll get you for this land! <laughs> I have that, uh, that sandcastle in Animal Crossing. Whew. It sure was fun. Don't talk like it's over, Mail. The fun has just begun. But first we gotta get something to eat. Oh, I feel that. As soon as this stream's over, I'm eating like a pig. Hmm, I know. I'll go catch some fish. We'll catch some fish for ya. 
Flynn, are you up for a fishing battle? But how are we gonna fish without equipment? Are you kidding? All you need to fish is bamboo, fish line, and worm. We can find that much lying around somewhere. Whoever catches the most fish wins. Yai, male, you wait here. I'm gonna get a head start. Sheesh, that dex never runs out of steam. Land, you've got mail. It's an order from Barrel. Let's step away and read it out of sight of Mail and Yai. Right, sure. Hmm. I agree what he said. We're not counting on you, but good luck anyway. Be careful. Okay, catch you later then. And now the sandcastle's gone. You have mail, Lan. Good luck, Lan. This place is quite famous for its fabulous fish. I can't wait to see what you catch. Some driftwood. Wonder where this came from. If it could talk, I bet it'd have many stories to tell. These rocks are home to a wide range of creatures. Turning over one of the larger rocks reveals all kinds of life. First, I need a rod. Now what would make a good rod? Hey, why the long face? Did something happen to you? Go to Orin. The next mission will take place in Orin Area 3, but we need to scout out the area first. Your orders are to go to Orin Area 1 on the net. I'll send Colonel along as well. Let's go to Orin Area. Jack me in. Mega Man, find a way to Orin Area 3. Yep! Don't scare me like that. I thought you were a Nebula Navi. Bomb R. Oh, that move. Do I have unlockers? No. Oh, I failed. in area one. This area is under the control of some very scary navvies. What, you're not gonna run? Suit yourself. Alright, I got Blizzman. I should put that in there. Snowball expands when hit. 
Network has been restored. I can finally take a break. I won't quit the business no matter how risky it gets. That's my policy. Airspin. Oh, that's not what I'm thinking of. Circle gun. When I see C C I R C, I think of the uh, the Greek witch or whatever her name was, Circe. I don't think of the word circle. That's by the mem HP memory. Chip grinding later. HP now. This way is where the next mission takes place. Colonel! I'd be able to strengthen their defenses since our last mission. Yeah, they just have giant fucking turrets everywhere. There's no other way in except along this path. We have but one choice. Full speed ahead! Now! Firepower, we can't get through that. Can't get through without blocking that barrage of fire, but even I can't stand up to that firepower. Our best plan of action is to retreat for now. Mega Man, we've got to jack out. We can't begin this mission without a way to handle the barrage of fire. Let's check out, Lan. We've got to fish with decks anyway. Yeah, no sense in wasting our energy here. Let's check out and get back to fishing. Hopefully we'll think of a strategy in the meantime. Okay, time to search for fishing supplies. Actually, not yet. I want to see what's over here. Or in Area 2. Welcome to Or in Area 2. For your information, you cannot reach Orin Area 3 from here. The entrance to Orin Area 3 is on the top floor of Orin Area 1. But Nebula Dark Lords are lurking in Orin Area 3, so it's best you're not going there anyway. Always a grass enemy on a grass panel, so he's refilling HP. Cact ball. Vulcan 2, nice. That's a 5 shot. Don't know what causes that glitch. Happens in every Battle Network game. They just don't throw anything.
The floors with arrows on them are moving pathways. Use the right side to go to the far right, and the left side to come back. Oh, fuck. Doors under Scilab control. Access from Orin area. Something, something. Due to measures taken against Nebula. Only authorized personnel will are allowed in here. Okay. Should have went for that one. I want to become a cyber journalist, so I came here to cover the occupation of the area. But I wish I hadn't. This is scary. I think I've sucked everything I can out of this area for now. Yeah. Let's find a line, hook, rod, and some bait, Lan. Bamboo's flexible. I didn't read what that said, though. What's this disgusting bug? It's a worm. It's often used as fishing bait. Len, have you never seen a worm before? How old are you? Oh, it's kind of gross, but I guess I'll keep it. Len got worm. Bait for fishing. It feels gross. A bamboo pole. Perfect for fishing. Dex found his fishing supplies. Good luck, Lan. I expect you boys to reel in the finest fish in the sea. You're still looking for your fishing supplies? I already found mine. Better hurry up. Line and a hook. Uh, I, I don't know where they are. legit forgot where these things are.
Uh, I'm actually lost here. I don't remember where they are. <laughs> Some lines tangled here with some, some seaweed. There's even a hook still attached. Wait a minute. Finders keepers. How were you supposed to know that was there? Some fishing lines tangled in seaweed. Some people don't know how to fish. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> Being that far out and obscure. Looks like you managed to find some fishing supplies. Now you need to find a good fishing spot and cast away. May the best man win. That's me. Where's a good fishing spot, I wonder? This looks like a good spot. I'm gonna catch a real whopper. Good luck, Lan. Ten minutes later. Shoot, not even a nibble. Don't get down, Land. Fishing takes patience. Just relax. They'll come eventually. Shoot, this really does take a lot of patience. And I don't know how much more patience I have. Wow, another one! I've got five already! Dang that Dex, he's yelling like that on purpose. I won't lose to him. That's the spirit, Land. Thirty minutes later... Dang, still on a nibble. Yippee! I got a dozen already! Shoot, can't just a single fish come my way? Don't worry, Land, your number will come up soon enough. I don't know, I'm beginning to lose hope. Hmm? Hey, what's this? Whoa! whoa, whoa. It's a big one! Land, reel it in! Whoa! You're strong as heck! You could do it, Lan. Oh boy. You tried your best, Lan. Ah, oh, shucks. It's true, it was practically a whale. <laughs> you sure it wasn't a chunk of driftwood. Anyway, you lose, and now it's time to eat my fish. So it's your job to start the fire. Aw, oh, man. Don't complain. You lost. You can't complain to me, the winner. I have a lighter, so you get some firewood. Go find some dry grass, twig, and board. <laughs> yeah, okay, your majesty, Dex. Fucking underpants ripper. Whoa, was that an earthquake? The gods are telling you to hurry up and get the firewood. Good luck, Lan. <laughs> now off with you, Lan. <laughs> Uh, I am not even going to continue the next story beat. Okay, Len, you lost, so go find your mark- the markings of- Okay, Len, you lost, so go find the makings of bonfire. Let's see, we can start a fire with some board, twig, and dry grass. Hurry, Len, we gotta cook the fish while it's fresh. I wish I could have seen the fish you caught, Len. He didn't catch it. Cooking a freshly caught fish over an open fire. Primitive, indeed, but scrumptious, too. I am definitely- way too tired to continue, and I'm about to- I gotta eat, too. I'm starving, I'm tired, and I got stuff I gotta get done. So, I think this is where I'm gonna stop it. I went over three hours again, which is great. Uh, tomorrow, no stream. I'm gonna take a break, finally. Monday, I'll probably resume it. Uh, Battle Network 5 will continue on into the next week or so, depending on how long it takes to beat it. Uh, next Thursday, which will probably be Thursday night into Friday, is going to be Mr. Driller Drill Land that comes out on Switch on Thursday. Uh, I'll probably do that into Friday, which is also my birthday. Uh, Friday night, Saturday night, and maybe Sunday night I'm probably not going to stream. I might come back Sunday night, I'm not sure. And then we'll just uh, continue both games from there, really. Uh, Boktai 3 in July, and then after that, uh, we'll see. we got some other stuff planned in August, and maybe a game or two between then. But yeah. Thanks for coming. We had a lot of turnout today. A couple gift subs from Izzy. Really appreciate that. A follow. 
Uh, again, always really appreciate all of it. The money's going to a good place, and I very much appreciate the attention. So, uh, with that being said, I'm exhausted. You all have a great evening, and I will see you probably Monday. Good night.